Yes, that's the one. I, did, I forgot what it was called. Yeah. Very um, good. Very good song. It's a beautiful song, but it, I've just been I've been singing it just, and I haven't even heard it. Like it's not like it pa played recently or anything. No, it's one of them that you know. Once you do hear it, it becomes ingrained in your mind. There's, there's a it's couple. A beautiful of song. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful song. So your page today, and I'll be waiting for it to come onto mine. Oh, you'll have to give me two shakes. Two shakes. I, I have put it, I'm not putting it on yours straight away. I'm doing something else first. Hang on a minute. Ooh. Hang on, I was what, putting what it on. The, what are you doing? I can't. I can't uh, believe it. I was putting it on the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Layla, Lindsay. I can't see you one I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, you have to give me a sec. Hang on. All right, I'll do it right now. Oh, my goodness, Paul. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, but you'll okay, complain no, in a minute that I can't yeah. see anyone or talk to anyone. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll, I was going to do the other stuff first. All right, I'll do it so you can have a look. Everybody's talking to you and um, hang on a minute. I can't do anything. Yes, you can. Hang on. I'm... All right, hang on. I'm in the middle of doing it on your page. <laughs> I reckon <laughs> when the barber cut your hair, mm -hmm. he cut a bit more than your hair. No. Yes, there's some things missing up there. <laughs> All right, it's on your page. So, sorry, guys, I just have to share. Oh, the song was um, Seasons in the Sun. Yeah. For some reason, I've been singing it, Lin uh, Lindsay. Uh, yeah, Cheryl, um, Paul went to get it cut, but I think they cut a bit more. They've cut a bit more. Um, yeah, he had his ears lowered. He had his ears unpinned. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. <laughs> yeah, oh, someone had to say it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to laugh. Oh. It's, it's not funny. I just need, I needed my hair cut. Are you, are you on your page now? Because I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my page, yes. Well, no, tell a lie, I'm on your page. Well, that's where it's streaming from. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you everyone for sharing. Um, hello, Layla from London. Oh, hello, hello, Lindsay. Yes, Seasons in the Sun. Very good song, very good song. No, actually, Cheryl, I actually did change my hair, I changed the wig. He decided not to wear the wig anymore. It kept falling off. It was lopsided. Yeah, because it's getting warmer. You know, the tape was just, you know, not sticking so well. So I thought, I'll just take it off. So, <laughs> yes, hope everyone is well. And, uh, yeah, but how's everyone's day been or night been? <coughs> I hope it's been uh, a good one. Oh, thank you very much, Holly. Yep, it needed doing. It needed doing. Summer's on its way, so I needed to, uh, you know, get it ready for summer. Well, the next time I have it cut it should be in July. So, thank you, Annette. Nice to see you. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Need an afro. <laughs> Great. I don't think I've got enough air for that one. Even if I let it grow over and over, all it'd do was curl, it just curled back up. My, my son actually has an afro. He's, um, he looks like Jimi Hendrix at the moment with his hair. <laughs> so you can say Jimmy Hill then. You don't know who's <laughs> <is. laughs> all you need. 
Oh, right, okay. No, I have it for so long. I've let it grow for maybe two weeks and then cut it off uh, because, you know, it gets a bit itchy, you know? It's been good, just had dinner. And... Oh, right, okay. So who are the tigers? Oh, rich men. Because Leslie's going to watch them. Oh, okay. She must be watching footy. Well, that's what she's saying. Yep. Game on ready to watch the Tigers win tonight. Yeah. Well, it's like my football team. We're called the Hatters. Or our football team, I should say. It's the fashion ATM. Yeah. <laughs> I love a hood afro. <laughs> Hello, Raylene. Nice to see you. I hope, like I say, I hope you're all fantastic as usual and all the energies are going to be lifted as usual. They all seem to be lifted anyway. You've all come in happy and we're going to go out, go away even happier. We're going to do some great readings, have some great chats. And yeah, we're going to talk about my hair and. Sure. Uh, Sorry if I've asked you before. Are you in Australia? Are you watching the footy? I've probably asked you already, but I just can't remember where everyone's from sometimes. I'm I'm from the UK. Do you know that one? Oh, really? Yeah. No, I didn't know. Yeah. No, because I'm having pasta later. I actually did a survey at work and only one person said pasta, right? Everyone else. Everyone said pasta the way that all I know to say it. And the person that said it the other way actually come from, um, they've only been here a couple of years and they're from Ireland. But everybody else said it the, the way that I know is, you know, to say it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter, you know. It's, yeah, show us from Queensland. Okay, sorry, Cheryl. You, you've probably already told me that. I, I yes. just I couldn't remember. No, we're all getting old, you see. Well, certain people are, but um, but <laughs> um, in answer to your question, uh, Raylene, um, yeah, no, no, they didn't lower my ears. No. <laughs> I reckon they did. They, well, there was nothing in there to blow out. <laughs> <coughs> no, me. Well, when I, when I moved my head side to side, there's a rattle. I don't know what that rattle is. Yes, I, I, uh, I, I've been telling you that, Paul. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Lindsay says, pasta is holy, pasta is food in the UK. There you go. Yeah, but that, thank you very much, Lindsay, for being on my side there. Yeah, yeah, well, Lindsay is from the UK, so she would say it like that. Yeah. And, <laughs> Sorry, and, Lindsay. And Leslie's mum used to say it the way I do. So Yeah, because that's where her mum's from. It's a pommy thing. Cheers. Thanks. But see, pasta is Italian. So, you know, who would know how to say it better than an Italian or the correct way? Ah, uh, no, that was a Romans, wasn't it? Well, who actually came up with <laughs> who actually came up with pasta? The word pasta. Who had who actually invented pasta? And don't say the Italians because I don't think they did. Or they just nicked it from somebody. Okay. <laughs> I know, but that, these are all the big stories. That everybody gets every all the big things that people think they're that are, um, that they thought that country invented or came up with it most probably wasn't them they most probably nicked it from another country so ah, but uh, ping pong ball how would you say ping pong ball then Suana? you're going to say ping pong ball well no Raylene says ping pong ball for well, she just says ping pong ball Okay. <laughs> well, Raylene's a fellow Aussie, see. So. <laughs> ah, right. So you don't you don't go against Aussies, fellow Aussies. 
<laughs> no, Aussie, Aussies stick together. Righty ho. Do you actually go around the streets going, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie? Oi, yeah. oi, oi. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Brilliant. Brilliant. But uh, yeah. So how many are you? What time's the game on for you lot? Eight o'clock. What time what time would it be on? Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't actually follow the football here. Uh, ah, right, okay. Oh, yes, Lindsay, I think so. That's what is rattling around in your head, hun. Um, a ping pong ball. So <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. I no love problem. that, Raylene. I love it. Yeah, Lindsay, I didn't notice that. Thanks for bringing my attention to it. So, um, yeah, so you've got a ping pong ball rattling around in your head. I, I don't think I have. I've got two. Paul, how do you say tomato? Tomato. <laughs> I can see that was strained. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato, tomato. I, we know you're only joking, Raylene, but I no, love it. <laughs> it's, it's tomato. Oh, so you don't even say tomato. You say no. tomato. Okay. Tomato. <laughs> yep. It depends. It depends. Oh. I, I nearly... <laughs> yeah, that... Layla saying tomato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Layla, that's what it sounds like. Oh... Um, from where, well, from where I come from, we've got a lot of slang words. Okay, so you're, you're admitting that it's slang, right? Possibly could be slang, yeah. but not, not pasta. That is the one. But tomato, who says potato? Spuds, that's what they're called. Yeah, no, that definitely made us laugh, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, God! I know one thing. It's bloody cold. To put it politely, yeah, it's actually cold here at the moment. Yeah, it might have something to do with me having the back door wide open. Oh my goodness, Layla Patata! No, please don't start that one. <laughs> <laughs> potato. 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 Yeah, it's potato. Yes. <laughs> Rayleigh, yeah, I'm not allowed to say plain words either. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Where's, oh, where are they? oh, Lindsay's in the UK. Mm -hmm. That's quite sunny there. Here it's at night and actually started raining again. Wow. No, uh, Lindsay, it's, it's very sunny. It's just very chilly at the moment because the sun hasn't come round far enough yet to come through my window. It hasn't come through my window yet. But it will, and it will look beautiful, and I'll get out there in my shorts. Yeah, I was going to say, it wouldn't be cold if you put your pants on. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 no. That, oh, uh, hello, Teresa. Hi, Holly. Right, Teresa hello, hasn't Teresa. been on for a while. Uh, Teresa's in the UK. Yeah, she hasn't been on for a while. How do you say... Um, is it pasta or pasta, Teresa? Oh. Yeah, Holly, you're in Melbourne, aren't you? It is very cold. Yeah, it yeah, I'm very, spiritual. Very I'm, as, as, as we know, I'm, you know, we're very spiritual, but we no, use... Why don't you say pasta? No, but I, I can use as much slang as I wish. Hi, Paige. Hmm. Hello. Right, I needed a drink. Uh. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that explains it. <laughs> pa it's pasta. 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 Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she might mean pasta the way that I oh, say it. No, no, the it's way pasta. The correct pasta. Way of saying it. 
Right, let's let's talk about something else because it's making me hungry. Let's talk about cakes instead. <coughs> cakes. Mm. I just. Uh... Let's talk about cakes. <laughs> Le lemon cake. Oh, I thought you were teasing him, Teresa. Teresa likes your hair. You mean what there's left of it, Teresa? <laughs> yes, but it, yes, but it makes it makes my head, you know cooler not in the sense of hey man cool but i mean cooler it was getting a bit it, oh lemon drizzle there you go Lindsay loves lemon drizzle cake oh, oh, oh. yeah I think I've had that before. what you've never heard of lemon drizzle cake no that's the one i stuff yeah eat is that the one that's rolled yeah with the lemon inside okay Mandy. yeah well, it is on, on that one anyway. <laughs> Lemon. Cheesecake, yes, yes. Mm. What type of cheesecake do you like, Cheryl? Oh, there's plenty. It's easy to make. What, cheesecake? Yeah, you just throw some biscuits down, stamp them in into the doodle. -dah. I'd love to see you make it. Oh, I'll make it. I'll get one out. I you yeah. it. I'll get one out of Iceland. And I'll show you how to make it. Oh. Yeah, what sort of cheesecake do you guys like? Oh, what one do you like? Who me? Yes. I like um, like lemon cheesecake. Uh, lemon. lemon no lemon cheesecake. No, so what, I what like. I like. Um, no, but we're, we're talking about what style of cheesecake do you like? What flavour? Layla likes strawberry. Strawberry? And Cheryl likes New York cheesecake, <coughs> but any cheesecake is good. Nice. Yeah, the New York one is good. That's plain. Yeah, but, I mean, that's good too. Strawberry is nice. Yum. And lemon. I oh, know, that's one of my favourites. Yeah, it is. It's and Lynn likes all of them. Yes. <laughs> All of them. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's going to go raid in the fridge <laughs> or the freezer uh -huh. or down the shop. Coffee and walnut cake, Leslie. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> that, that's your idea. Make everybody hungry, and then we keep the shops going. <laughs> yeah, passion fruit. Yum. Everyone who everyone will have a rush on on cheesecakes. I oh, know. We're, we're all going to be hyper. Yeah, I can I can talk about it, but I'm not hungry. You know, coffee and walnuts. Uh, Holly said, "No more talk about food." <laughs> okay. Paige likes walnut cake as well. <gasps> Layla, you said the magic word: chocolate. Mm. Chocolate, yum yum yum. Chocolate. Uh, you know. You, you know when you have um, the box of favorites. Favorite? Or, you know, when you get, you get, yeah, look, a lot of people here would know um, in Australia, when you have like, you know, the mixed chocolates that you buy that you would probably gift to someone, but you'd buy them for yourself. And you've got all the little chocolates in there, like Picnic, Turkish Delight. Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Very yeah. ripe. Yeah. Tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Just the normal Cadbury. Like, what's your favourites out of that? What sort of chop? Oh, warm banana bread. So, what's what's your favourite? Hi, Leona. Uh, yeah, I was just what's about to say. Hi. Oh, yeah. Leslie, Leslie, that's my favourite too. Turkish delight. <laughs> uh, no. Twirl, I love twirl. Oh, no. it just melts in your mouth. Turkish delight. Do you, it, no, but it's a different. Hi, Mel. It's a different. Um, it's not like the traditional Turkish delight where you've just got that jelly thing with the powder. It, it's like a different jelly. <gasps> Ferrero Shay. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yes, <laughs> it's like um, not that Turkish delight with the jelly and the flour on top. This one is the Turkish delight, that jelly, but we're covered in chocolate. And it just has a different um, <gasps> kinder surprise. Yeah, that chocolate is nice. Mm. Kinder surprise what? chocolate is white, beautiful. White chocolate. What nice. about lint? You don't like Turkish delight? That's all right. I'll eat those. 
No, I, I don't like them. But they've got. Oh, a whole... do you hate them, Layla? Because I, maybe it's the ones that I've tasted. I don't like those that, that much. You know how it's the the square, the cubes of like that jelly, and it's got the powder on it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's probably supposed to should probably be better. It's um <laughs> with the ingredients and everything. But I like the one that's covered in chocolate. It's a yummy delight, yeah, for sure. Ah, uh, hello, Mel. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's just got a yucky taste to it, and I just can't. I, I, I don't feel well after it. So, no. Yes, you always save the best to last, Holly. And that's almost like Smarties. Do you save the red ones last? Do you remember that? You know, and with the red ones, we would, um, I would use it as lipstick. I would lick it and use it as lipstick. Oh, good. <laughs> but that's when I was younger. Lint. Oh, oh, Mel, oh, if you go to the lint shops where they've got the little cafe in there and you have the hot chocolate or, you know, oh, my goodness, their, their drinks as well with the chocolate in there is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> no but that's it you know um i because i don't eat chocolate you know you lot can talk about chocolate all day i i, I just got fed up with it in the end um chocolate but, is medicine for female hormones yes i agree i'm i'm just reading that <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh, no it, it, it's whatever uh everybody's preference you know i i used to eat, um, Mars bars and Twixies and things like that. Twixies? What are Twixies? Twix. And you, what did you call them? Twi Deanna, thank you so much. I've received it. Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> would you like to come on Zoom or would you like us to do a reading for you here through the comments? <gasps> oh, that's better. Are you all right? Maybe you need some chocolate. No, I was just wiping my nose. No, my nose was dribbling. <laughs> can't help it, Ollie. I can't help it. Hello, Deanna. Is that Deanna? Yeah, Deanna. Yes, Deanna has um, donated. So we're going to do a reading for her. <coughs> um, I, I just want to check to see whether she wants us to do it here in the comments or if she would like to come on Zoom with us. Oh, she said here is okay. All right. Okay, okay. Leslie is a Paul, sending Paul a big bag of potato crisps. No, <laughs> Leslie, we're sending him an empty packet. We're going to eat them. Uh, great. You've got an ice cream van. Wow. You've got an ice cream van. <laughs> Do you own an ice cream van, Layla? Oh no, Diana. Diana, when I, I said Zoom, what are, you, you, you're live. You're live. Everyone sees you, but we see your face, and you can and um, you have that interaction with us. Um, that's why I gave you that option. So we're still on the live, and it, like we would do it now. It's just that we see you and you can talk to us like verbally. But that's okay. Like if you want to do it on here, that's all right. Layla, where are you? Where are you, Layla, with your ice cream truck? Please tell me you're in Melbourne. It's an ice cream van. <laughs> I don't think we're calling. Hi, Anne. Anne, um, I was looking for you last time because I saw all the places that this is an English. Yeah. I saw all the places that um, you shared our live on and I wanted to do a reading for you, but I think you had gone off. Um, okay. That's all right, uh, Diana. It's, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Oh, in London, I can't come there for ice cream. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be down in about two hours or in about an oh. hour. I, I can I can get on I can get on the train and oh, wow I can actually be there in fifty minutes. Do you have gelato? Who's gelato? Just a normal ice cream. Okay, now um, so Anne, this is Anne English. Um, I'm just about to do a reading for Diana. 
Um, if you want to stay on, I was going to do one for you because each time you come on, you've shared out live to many, many places. Oh, I am. Good, good. <gasps> All sorts. Do you have pistachio? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. I'm in there for your ice cream. Well, she goes round with that ting, 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 ting. Oh, great, Anne. If Anne, if you stay on, I'll do one for you after we've done one for Diana. Um, if that's okay. Yeah. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. Yeah, don't forget. So but while, while you're sorting out the cards, I'm going to do our sherry bit. Yeah. And the rest. And the and the rest, my news read a bit. I just <laughs> noticed that Layla has pistachio. <laughs> oh, no. I, I know that somebody, yeah, if you go down in the woods today, yeah. <laughs> you know when they're turning up. A little bit of sun. and then. It, Do you have music on your van, Layla? Yeah, she says, if you go down in the woods today. Oh, is it that music? If you go down in the woods, ding, 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 ding. Oh, I didn't know that you, you had the name for that music. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, we're, we're sophisticated in this country. We we have to have music. That's your ice cream. But uh, okay. while you're doing that, while, while you're sort of blowing on the cards and doing that bit, I will... I, what I'm doing when I bob my head, just in case anyone's wondering, I'm I've got uh, ice cream and I'm just licking my ice cream because I feel like having ice cream, so I'm just bobbing down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dear, right. I'm going to say it now. Are you ready, everybody? This is this is a public information. If you would like a mini reading, please share our live publicly to other groups and publicly to your own page. Or publicly to your own page. You will receive a mini reading if you have shared our live publicly. And we are drawn to you. A donation will give you priority. Thank you. Yes, to share our live simply click on the share button and select to either <laughs> share with your friends publicly on your own page or go to more options and share to a group. <gasps> there we go. Uh, just before you go on, Paul, thank you for your donation, Holly. Um, I'm just uh, starting a, a, um, a reading now and I've I've got Anne after this. Are you okay to go after Anne? Is that okay? And do you want to come on Zoom or do you want to do it in the comments? Ooh. Be nice to get a few people on, on Zoom on, on itself because as we've said before, you get a better out, you know, everybody, even though we love doing the comments. You, you actually get to see the people behind those comments when when we're all on screen together, which is amazing. You know, it's just nice to see the person behind that. Those, okay. those kind words. In the comments. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to do yours in the comments. I just wanted to check if Holly wanted hers in the comments as well or if she wanted to come on Zoom. Um, Diana, I'm pulling out some really interesting cards for you. I've actually even opened another deck because um, something guided me to pull out from that one and uh, I'm amazed at what's come out. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it is. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see what we get. Uh, it's nice that we're getting some, 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 uh, it looks like new people or people have been here and haven't been here for a while. Because uh, that's the thing. If you don't tend to turn up every other, every show that we do, you know, we, we tend not to <laughs> remember you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Our brains just go to mush. <laughs> that's but, why um, Paul needs to have his hair cut occasionally. Yeah, just so I can... <laughs> and pull. 
Do you know wow. which one? The Arma. Wow, is all I can say. <laughs> I watched a good film last night. I watched the in, uh, the last part of Harry Potter. Um, you know the I can't think what the yeah it was the very last one they did with uh, Dan Radcliffe and all all the originals. Uh, very good film. Um, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> now that, do you know, Holly, that would be really funny. You're sitting at your daughter's swimming lessons and, you, and you're on your phone and you're talking to us <laughs> on, on Zoom. <laughs> That'd be weird. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I hope you're feeling better, Teresa. Oh. Can you imagine? We'd have, um, we've never done one from a swimming pool before. No, no, well. <laughs> no, it, it's, uh, you know, you just, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really, you know. But people have done them, has it done it from a, mainly their bedrooms, isn't it? You know, like the, because they're either just getting up or just going to bed. <laughs> No, 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 Diana, it's all good. It is all good. Yeah, Teresa is feeling better. Now, this is, I, I'm, I'm, the stuff I'm pulling out for you that I've pulled out because I'm ready to go. Right, um, It's, I'm amazed. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But I think you might know that already. <laughs> okay. Right. Are we ready? Yes, I am. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. All right. Oh. What I'm going to show you is um, I, I, I've pulled it. The, just the way I do the spreads, I have my own way of doing it. No, oh, no, I hope not, Diana. No, this is all good. Um, the way that I, I just do it different, I don't follow you know, a uniform of doing things. I just do it differently. And things that I've pulled out all lead and all um, talk about your soul's pathway, your purpose. Um, and, and that's why I pulled out another deck to see whether I could get some more info about your purpose and which I have, all right? And we'll see, we're going to see if you resonate with that. Now, what I want to show you is that you, you'll see a lady here on a ship and or on a boat, and she's got like a looking at a map that she's got in front of her, and she's um, she's seeing like which way she's got to go. Um, for me, this is telling me that you know you already have all the answers. Um, you already know what you want to do. Um, you already have it, perhaps. Like you might need help or support, um, but I, like, but you are because of um, just other information I'm getting here is that you're a very spiritual person, and your purpose is as a healer. Now, um, healer can come in many forms. It can be like healing uh, someone spiritually through. Um, through like uh, healing the chakras, that the, the, the healing with the crystals, or what, what do they call it, Pale, paleo, um, like that sort of healing. But healing is also, you could have a profession, um, a profession of some type of healing, like counselling um, or like in a medical, something that helps people heal. Um, that's what I've got here, and that is what, you, your soul, what your soul purpose is, um, what your pathway is. Um, <clears throat> yes, because I well then it would be to do with your spiritual because just with what I'm getting here, um, like your your life's journey, it's been perfectly designed um, to grow your soul and um, you know and I'm being asked and. Um, to tell you to an urge to tell you that you know to embrace to embrace it and like every lesson that you learn 
um, because that's adding to you. That is, that's like um, training for you. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I, I just, that's what I've got for you. But also you, you'll notice that you receive guidance through um, things that you hear in your mind. Like some people see things, and I'm not saying that you don't, through their third eye or, you know, in their mind's eye. Um, some people hear things. I myself, I see things, but I also hear things. And um, you have been getting guidance inside your mind. You know, sometimes something just comes in your head. Um, that's what I feel that... Um, that, that you've been getting and, and that's what um, that's helping you to go like on your journey guiding you on your journey now if you have I wonder what I want to ask you because um, just with something else I've got here uh, have you ever tried to astral travel have you ever tried anything like that because I've just pulled out something I'm not I, I think that that's what it would lead to but um, I'm just interested. I feel like um, maybe through your meditation, um, I just feel like you, you rise above. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I get here. Um, <clears throat> clear audience. That's what I pulled out for you. So um, you have that gift. But... Um, I need to also tell you not to worry because you will be given things as you need them. You know, sometimes we're worried about having our needs fulfilled. And I mean, I don't mean materialistic or, or you know, you wish things, but things you actually need, like whether you need support from someone, you need someone to help you with training, you need an opportunity to open up for you. Things will come to you as um, you need them. Um, and you're probably already finding that. But um, <clears throat> I, I pulled out this healer card because I, I had um, already seen the life purpose and I just wanted to get more information for you. But um, that is how, like, your life has been planned out. It's to serve other people through healing. But you're a very special person, Diana, very, very special, and your gift is wonderful. You're going to help, and I'm sure you've already helped many people already, but you're going to help so many people. And I know that, um, you know, it makes you feel wonderful um, to, to be able to do this. So I hope that that, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, Diana. Yeah. Um, we'll see what Paul, I can't say much because um, Paul doesn't want to hear anything until after he's done his reading for you. No, I'm not saying anything, Paul, don't worry. Um, <laughs> he's sticky. <laughs> but I, um, I hope that that helps you. We'll see what Paul can get for you and then he'll look through your comments. Mm. Yeah. And thank you so much for your donation as well, Diana. Yeah, because it's, it's very different. Yeah, I don't like to know anything at all. You know, I know some people, you know, they work from that type of thing but in the way that I work fingers in the ears if I start to hear anything I don't want to hear <laughs> um but uh yeah thank you for coming through Diana and letting us do a reading for you thank you for the the donation also thank you um yeah let's see what we can get for you I'm hoping it will you know that uh Sylvana hasn't done everything there but we'll see if it sounds similar it's because that's the way it should go okay do apologize if it does but let's let's see what we can get for you. let's tune in <sighs> okay yeah, yeah, yeah wow yeah Okay, the first thing I'll get with with yourself is the 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 calmness, uh, as Savannah was saying there. You know, 
you need a calmness to do what you do. Um, we need a calmness to do what we do. But uh, that calmness, uh, <clears throat> I do believe wasn't always there, you know, and it, it took you a while to understand that that calmness um, was something that you needed in life. That calmness at one point, you know, yeah, there was a bit of anxiety in the past that that seemed you know, you didn't you didn't know how to work it out basically. You didn't you couldn't understand what was going on. And then all of a sudden it's like the light bulb clicked, you know, turned on, and you went, Wow, can I do this? But you've learned, you've learned and learned and learned and learned over this time. You know, you've had to change things in your life, you know, uh, to accommodate uh, your journey. But doing that, it's only making it better. It's only making it better and more understanding, not just for you, for the people that are around you. Um, and when, when I actually look forward, uh, in you know when I focus on your name all I see is that um, I said this to somebody the other day it's like you've got the sun behind you and you know where the angels have that light above their head you know it's like that around you and you're you're just one of you're basically one of many you know because some of us do healing some of us don't some of us do readings and you know it just depends on how our, part, our life path or where our life path takes us. But, uh, you know, it, it's like also there's, there's talks um, going on for something to happen to take you further down the, down, down the road, as in to, it's either to be, be, to be doing a group thing or just something so you can, you know, I'm, you know, I'm so-and-so, I can get out there, this is me, like business cards and things. <clears throat> you want to get out there more now. It's your turn, it's your time. You know, the angels and the spirit world are there. They're already around you. But what I also did see is, and, and they, they show me this a lot, it's like a room full of feathers. So that just means you're very, very, very spiritual, you know, and, and they look forward to working with you. And they look, because you've op you opened your eyes to what was around you. You know, a lot of people, they still, they, they wear the blinkers and they, they just can't see anything until somebody actually tells them that this is what they're going through, okay? But, um, you know, when, when these talks happen, they will go well because you you actually will make them happen, make it work for you because of the calmness that you bring with it. You know, um, there's also the money side. The money side will, as you know, um, sometimes we have to wait for it, but the money will be there waiting for you because that's what you you're desiring. And that's what you're you know, that's where your path will head. But you you do need to start to share yourself because the time has come <laughs> and there are, like I say, they, it, it feels like you, you definitely have spirit around you and they're really close and they do like working with you. Someone's saying a new guide or a guide that's just come in, you know, they won't tell me, tell me your, uh, their name. It feels like there's two. It feels like you've got one either side of you. You know, it just feels like there's two either side of you and they're just and they're just wanting to go, well done, fantastic, keep it up, you know, and they'll work with you all the time. And and they're the ones, um, because I feel like one one has the healing power in within them, but then the other one has the calming. As well but they both have the calming but one has they did both have different skills yeah it's both have different skills the calming the healing the 
They're just being there, you know, happiness. Yeah. And everything that you do will lift and lift and lift. You know, you'll feel like you're floating on air. OK, it will feel like you're floating when it works. It will be fantastic if you start to move back a bit and just hold back because you're starting to get a little bit worried about what you're saying. Don't worry about what you're saying because the words will just flow. They'll, your, everything will happen for a reason. And it is ha happening for a reason because, huh, yeah, it, because you, you just, you need it. You need it now just to take you to the next level, but you've got to make sure that you take these challenges on board and don't worry about what, what is there. Okay. There will be people out there that have, if you haven't already had this, where, where they'll say, well, that's not a real job. That's not a real job. You know, you can do that in your spare time, you know, but it's not a spare time thing. It's something that we, we have inside us to share with others, to lift them. And those people that actually do say it to you, they're the ones that will need help one day. M maybe not from you, but somebody like us. Yeah. But uh, the, the wording I, I keep getting, don't give up. Okay. Because it's now, like I say, it's your time and everyone will start coming to you, you know, but you've got to make sure that everything's in place. All the right things are in place. Uh, the building, for one, because I do believe that you'll need a, a building. It could even be a shop that you want to open and you want to do all these um, like readings and things like that. Um, but there's also other things that you do. I, I get cards as well, crystals and like everything. Yeah, it's just one of those things that that's what the talks are about, I think. That's what the talks about leases, about leases on places. Okay, but I'm going to leave that with you and I hope that resonated with yourself and uh, keep going because you're one of our one of our, um, you know, one of the family. You're uh, one of our family members now. <laughs> and it's amazing. So thank you. No, no, I mean in the family of, in the, in the sense of uh, spiritual. Yeah, but also yeah. part of our group and, here. And in ours as well, yeah, in our family, on our, on our wonderful show here. So thank you. And thank you again for your donation, uh, Deanna. Thank you. That's a nice name, by the way. I like that. Yeah. That reminds, Deanna, me, reminds me of Star Trek. I, yeah, Diana, don't throw it away. Um, you you've got a very special gift. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's why I kept trying to push it there. It's you can I can show you the thing, we can tell you the words, but you've got to make sure it happens. It's a so many people love you. So many people love who you are because they yeah, feel yeah. that great energy. Uh yeah. So yeah, never give up on something that that is you know that you've wanted or needed in your life yeah that's strange i've got a robin just turned up on my <laughs> yeah that's good luck <sighs> thank you you're most welcome diana mm. oh okay. yeah that's sort of comments now <laughs> yeah yeah so. um diana's left some comments further up um yeah I'm only, I'm only on number i've got 20 to go yeah i was wondering that too but i didn't say anything not to prejudice um like um but you'll see your comment now yeah uh, I, um did you see diana's comment oh no i'm going through them now okay yeah i have to read them i can't i'm not a good i'm not a speed reader <laughs> No, there's one that you just made now. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm not there yet, but yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah. No. Uh, 
Sorry, everybody, I'm just reading. <laughs> yeah, reading some of these. Um, I know it's the hardest time, but sometimes it's the best time to start again and lift yourself because it gets you out, gets you moving again and gets your life back on track. Yeah. Now, um, I just want to ask, Anne, Anne English, are you still on? And Holly, I've got I've got you in here after Anne. Um, yeah, it, it's where are we? Because I've I've I think I've lost some of the the comments. Yeah. Yep, she's on. Yeah, but thank you, Diana. That was that was quite good. Thank you. Thank you for those wonderful comments. It, it, it's not nice to lose somebody. No. But uh, you know, you don't you don't forget them. But you, I know it's it's hard sometimes. But you have to get on, move forward in your own journey as much as you know, because they'll be there for you. You know, they'll be there. They won't let you down, as they say, and. Um, some people look for uh, look for guidance and hope that that person comes through. Uh, but my wording is, you get what you need, not what you want. Okay, and today is what you wanted, or what you needed. Sorry, what you wanted, what you needed. Um, so, and every, you know that's how we'll do it on every reading for everybody. You know. I can imagine, Diana. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand. I understand. Um, was he unwell, Diana? <clears throat> if we're going to ask those questions, we we need we'll we'll. You know, we'll do that. All right, sorry, I just, I, I just felt really sad for her. That's all. No, no, no. I understand. I understand. Yeah. But you know, don't forget. You know. Okay. <clears throat> it's a private thing as well. So. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to say that, Diana. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I talk from experience. Um, I've been through that myself, and um, I was the same too. Um. Yeah, it takes a lot of time because you you know you try and understand why you 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 see th you what will happen is um, you will start to understand as time passes you'll understand why that happened and you'll see you'll remember things that you didn't see then things that and I feel for you completely Diana um, because yeah that happened to me as well. Yeah. So um, it is, it's very, very hard. Very, very hard. Um, uh, it, do, it does take time. Um, you do come to understand it. You come to, you know, to be at peace with it. And um, he, you know, he would be with um, being healed. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. And that will go, that will fade, Diana. Um, it will. But um, I, I better, I'll start crying. <laughs> so I better stop. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Anne. All right, what I've got for you, Anne, is to surrender frustration. So um, I... I'm getting that your, your uh, alignment, your um, say your chakras, you're sort of like unbalanced. You're kind of unbalanced emotionally. 
and um, and I I feel that this has been caused by a frustration. This has been caused by a frustration that you have, um, but I need to tell you that it's the you need to let go of this frustration, and to do this, you need to cleanse and detoxify yourself spiritually. Um, you can do this, say, by um, meditating, uh, having some time in solitude, being in a quiet place, quieting your mind, um, even listening to soothing music. Um, frustration isn't going to open any doors for you. It's not going to uh, resolve any dilemmas for you. Um, frustration is actually a block. It's a block that just doesn't help us from moving on. And um, I feel that you need to kind of regroup yourself um, to change the mind, your mindset. And um, you, you, you need to like be at peace with yourself and um, not to worry about anything that's happening because everything is actually gonna work out fine. Um, that's what I'm feeling through here. It, it's that everything is going to work out fine. Um, you just um, it, need to change your mindset and um, clear clear what's going on in here at the moment. Um, now, I've got that... Um, what I need to tell you is to keep an open mind that there's going to be something that you're learning that you're going to be teaching other people. So whether it's something to do with this, um, what you're going through, or it could be something else. But I, I need to tell you to keep an open mind um, so that you can learn new ideas, new ways of doing something, and you'll actually be teaching this to other people. Um, but I do have for you and that um, once, once you've gone through this healing part, like a cleansing and detoxifying, um, you, um, there are new things happening for you. So it looks like faraway places. It, it could also mean, um, for me, this signifies doing something that you haven't done before, something that's foreign. Um, not necessarily a travel to faraway places. It could even signify a move, but not necessarily something, you know, like going overseas or anything. But it's more like um, a change is coming and it's going to be something that is foreign to you. Um, that's all I can really get for you. So, look, I hope that that helps you and that it resonates. I'd love to know, but um, Paul's going to see... Uh, what he can get for you. Okay. This is Anne, yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, Anne. Thank you for being here and supporting our little show. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me see what I can get. Let's tune in to you. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's what I'd say. <laughs> yeah. The first thing I was getting with yourself there, excuse me, the first thing I was getting with you there, Anne, was life. I, I don't know if you've, you know, like a, a, a merry-go-round? That's what your life is at the moment. It's just going round and round and round. It's like you, you just can't seem to get off off the ride the road the ride won't slow down it just seems to be getting faster at the moment you know you just keep going round and round uh, how do i change this how do i do that what do i do what do i do you know to make it slow down so that i can get off this ride and start making you know going forward instead of just going round in circles it happens for happens to so many people they don't understand that a couple of changes in their life will make things happen the way that you want them to happen. Okay. And at the moment, you're just, it's like you're, you get to a point going, right, I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. And then you start, and then it goes into a loop again. 
and you just, it's like you grab hold the back end of the of of the the where you were before and you just get like i say you just get going around in circles again but you you'll be fine if if you can start to understand that life um isn't easy we know that life isn't easy uh but you have to make the best of it and and you know you just have to keep going you know you got to keep it up you've got to keep going you've got to make sure that if if you're um in a in a situation like this you don't sit back you've got to start to rely on uh things that are out there to bring you forward okay you, you know, the anxiety side you know that's just part of it once once you start to calm down and relax and be more with um, more one with yourself you'll start to that will start to go away and then and then the the going around in circles will start to slow down and start to relax and bring you into a peaceful mind okay you might need to do some meditation with this okay or listen to some calming music for you know, for as long as you want, play it in the background, you know, just so that you can understand that calmness just comes from within. You know, it comes from within, you know, everything that's around us is just a noise, but the calmness is inside us. It's just, it will relax you. Okay. And that's what you need. You just need so much relaxation at the moment. Never give up because giving up will just take you onto that merry-go-round again and you'll start going around in circles again. And I'll keep coming back to it, but that's where you seem to be. That's where you seem to be going at the moment. Okay. And you just, it, like I said, it's like you keep catching hold of the, the coattails of where it went wrong. And yeah, you've got to. If, if you see them coattails coming up, you've just got to swerve away from it and you'll, you'll find that things will start to slow down. But never give up on you. Never give up on your journey. OK, never give up on. There are people out there that are looking, looking for you already. OK, nothing, you know, there's, there's like a. It feels like there's someone stood beside you already. And, they're, and they've been trying to get you out of this situation for a while. It's like you want, you. it's like they're, they're a really good friend and it's like you want to give them a big hug. You want to, you want to give them that. Oh, and you want to release all that energy. You want to release all that tension, sorry, that's in here. You know, you just want to go, I want to get, oh, but you've got to make sure that that you don't go too far, but the past is the past. If there was a, there was something in the past that took you into this situation, you know, you've got to make sure that you forget that part of it. Yeah, you know, like I say, there's good things in the past too, you know, but that part of it that you're looking at all the time seems to be a negative side of where you are. And that's what, why you keep, um, you keep going around in these circles, but you've got to learn from every single day. You know, even if you write it down, if you if something new happens in your life, meaning, oh, I didn't do that yesterday, write it down. Okay, write it down in a book, and then and then the next day, if it happens again or something different happens again, write it down in a book, so you can go back to this book and go, ah, look, look at that. I, I am changing. I'm just not, you know, and then you'll see things start to, you know, start to happen. You know, you've got to commit to this. You've got to commit. That, they're the words I'm getting. You've got to commit. Yeah. Because, you know, the huh, I know a lot of people uh, rely on the spirit world and they, there are the spirit. They are coming forward. You know, and they are there. They're, they've got their hands out to you. 
but you've got to turn to the person to your it feels like to your to your right um and they will they'll help you it's like you i've said this to some people before it's like you'll go out for a coffee you want to release all that tension and and they're a best they're a best mate okay there's just somebody i need to get take all this tension out of my head yeah but you've got to relax okay you've got to relax and live your life okay you've got to make sure that you live life because the older you get the further away yeah um that good stuff is and if you're if you're still going around in circles when you're you know 60 70 80 then what have you done with life now it's the time to just basically put on the brakes and stop going around in circles move it forward and go right here we go this is my life this is my journey and this is where i'm going to go make some plans you know write it down where you want to be in six months where you want to be in three months Okay, where you want to be in three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Yeah, I always give people a year. If no one's changed in a year, then you're not strong enough. But you can still keep going after that. But that's when you really need to give yourself a good kick up the bum. If you've not changed anything in, in a year. Okay. But uh, I'm going to leave that one with you, Anne. And... Uh, yeah, thank you for coming through and letting us uh, read you, myself and Silvana. And you keep going, keep persevering. I can say persevering, and believing in yourself because you're the one that can can take you there. I know you can get the word from us and your friends and everything, but you're the one that has to take you there. Okay, but uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And enjoy life. Keep enjoying it. You know, get out there and smile with wonderful people. You smile and everyone else smiles with you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. <sighs> right. I hope that helped you, Anne. I hope so. Well, you should do. Okay, yeah, it sounds like it. That's great. And thank you so much for all the sharing you do of <clears throat> our lives. It's fantastic. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've just noticed Sarah's come on as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Change of week, Sarah. Just a change of week. <laughs> It was getting too warm under there. Huh. You're most welcome, Anne. Um, Holly, are you still on? It's your turn. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Not you, Paul. Paul Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I pronouncing your surname correctly? Depends um, on how you say it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Holly's there. Okay. No, thank you for the great comments. And always amazing. Everybody that gives us a great comment, thank you. It lifts us, which then we give it back to you. So, as a, you know, in great reading. So, thank you. Hello, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Okay. Um, Holly. All right. What I've got pulled out for you, I've actually pulled an extra card out. I was trying to get a bit more information on what this is. Um, I've got the endings and beginnings card. And what I get from this for you is that um, I feel like you're, you may be holding on to something from your past um because what i need to tell you is you need to let go of the old so that the new can flourish 
um, you know, you, you need to release the old. Uh, I'm getting that um, the old that it's referring to is uh, relationships that don't serve you. Um, and, you know, and this doesn't necessarily mean a romantic relationship. Um, it could be like a friends, could be family, could be uh, work colleagues. Um, it's relationships that are um, with toxic people. Um, and I feel that um, this is something you need to let go. Perhaps you have someone around you that's like that. Um, so you deserve to be, you know, treasured and, um, you know, surrounded by positive people, not by these people that are toxic. Um, so I feel that um, you would flourish more if you let go of um, someone or some people that are like this in your life. Um, I've also got on here, um, I've pulled out the vulnerability card. This is the extra one I've pulled out um, because I, I was just trying to get more information. And um, what, what I get from this is that, you know, when you feel vulnerable, you know, vulnerable like... Um, it, it, it could even be like a form of anxiety, but um, like listen to how you're feeling because you'll actually, the vulnerability, you'll actually get um, a wisdom from it. Um, you know, pray for strength. And um, I've, I'm not sure if you have um, perhaps a weakness in the area of uh, prioritizing, um, but I need to, because I've pulled out the prioritised card, but what this means is that um, it's that if you focus on, on the things that are more important, you're going to find that the energies around you will help motivate you to do it. Um, perhaps, I don't know whether this is a weakness of yours, but um, you'll find that you will actually get a wisdom from it. Um, you will learn something from it. Now, I need to tell you to keep your eye on the prize. Um, keep your eye on the bigger picture. Always, I guess, when things um, or challenges come in the way, you need to remind yourself of what your bigger picture is. And that's what's going to motivate you to get you through. But um, I've pulled out this one as well, this lady here that's... Um, you know, when people go to war and they grab um, the sand um, from the ground, you know, like this is my turf. And um, this, I'm getting here that it's not time to do that. I don't know whether it, there's someone you need to settle a score with, um, but it's not time to do that. It's time for you to heal. Um, I was hoping to get more information as to in what direction uh, whether this is to do with the toxic people that are all the energies around you, but that's what I'm getting for you. So I hope that um, that uh, resonates with you and that it helps you. So Holly, Paul's going to see what he can get for you. Mm. <clears throat> Hello, Holly. Thank you for your wonderful comments about my hair and <laughs> the laughter you bring bring to this group, but bring yeah. to the shows. Thank you. Um, and thank you for supporting us. Yeah, but let's thank you. let's see what we've uh, got for you today. <sighs> hmm. Okay, right. The first, the first words I'm going to say to you: everything is up in the air. Right, everything's just been thrown up in the air. Okay, and it's like, which bit do I catch first? Do I catch that bit because that's expensive, or do I catch that bit because it's less expensive? You know, or do I go through the middle? And then you get a bit of both. Okay, so it looks like at the moment you're deliberating do I go for the expensive or do I go for the cheap? Go in the middle and you'll be fine. 
because but that well i can say that but it's down to you you know if you want the expensive you go for it but it moves you away from you know where you want to be you know expensive things are just yeah it's just a name just a number of you know and they put make it more expensive for people yeah just so you've got a name on your shirt or something even the cheap ones are, are fantastic okay but you've got to keep going in that you've got to think about yourself when you do this because you're um it feels like you're not you're just not there I started using this analogy the other day. It's like you, you just got to tune yourself in like a radio. You just got to make sure that you just tune in to yourself. Okay. Because there's going to be a lot of doubt that creeps out as well. You know, of who you are. Okay. I'm down. You start to doubt things. Don't doubt anything because that then takes you into dark places. Yeah. And that's when the negative, more negative starts to appear in your life. Okay. There are people out there that are around you. And I think Sylvana was talking about this, that there are those people around you that want, want you to go down that, into that situation because they, they want you to be the person they knew years ago so they could control you. But it's your turn. It's your life. It's your journey, you know. Um, you're the one that is going to change your life, okay? You're the one who's going to change everything. Not them, yeah? If their lives are in a bad state, you know, that's not your problem. You've got to remember you. You've got to remember you. You've got to relax, okay? And remember that when new positions come along in life as in either one, it just feels like there's a position on its way okay it's 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 close it's not it's close but it, it just seems to be teetering at the moment so it's like you've sent a job application somewhere and and you're just waiting for that answer you're just waiting for an answer or something yeah it feels like it feels like there's a new career path that want you want to take okay um if, if it's where you want to go you go for it but i do believe that you could go a bit further and take it to um somewhere that you would something to, you'd rather do you know um when when things start to relax in this, in this wonderful world of ours you know go traveling if you've got the time to if you have the the funds not just you on your own it'd be like a family thing you know where you'll you'll all go and just start to enjoy life and that's where most people would learn and um not it'd be your homeschooling outside okay but uh you know you've got to make sure that um you don't sit back and just sit there and go oh no i can't do this I can't do that because it's too much money, you know, you know, you know, it's all in your hands. It's all in your hands, you know, and you, you've got to make sure that when, when you do get something, you know, when something does, something good, good does come to you, you have to, you, you, uh, what's the thing you, oh, that you don't, um, miss it yeah you, you don't miss it and you do grab hold of it with both hands when that if you start to miss these things they'll go flying by you know and you'll go oh why am I not doing this why am I not doing that you know but you've got to make sure you've got a lot you've got to be a goalkeeper <laughs> basically you've got to save these and and you've got to catch them and then put them on, on onto yourself and go now that's it it's like a, a, a merit badge you've got to start believing that you can get these merit badges and you start to believe in life believe in your your journey yeah you've got to share 
some of the things that you have inside you as well. You know, uh, what I was talking about, uh, it feels like a new position, okay? That, and you'll be sharing yourself with those people. Um, and it will be amazing. It's either a new, it's either a new job or just a new job it, it, within that company. Yeah, and that will, that will, it will be hard work, but uh, there are many rewards from sharing yourself because people will notice. People will notice. Okay, many many re rewards will come to you if you want them to. You know, just let it let it flow like water. You know, uh, like I, I think I said to somebody else, write it down in a book, write it down in a book, write a diary. I don't know if you already do this, but if you write a diary, then at least you've got something to go back to and go, oh, I was a bit rubbish here. No, I don't want to feel rubbish there. I want to do this, 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 and this. Yeah. But uh, that's, down, that's, that's down to you, you know, but also, uh, get out into nature, get out there, get out in the sun, get out just outside, get some fresh air, let the air, you know, all the wonderfulness that's outside surround you, you know, walk through some trees, walk through a forest, walk through, I don't know, um, a field, you know, take the dog for a walk um, and just get out there. Because sometimes people just sit at home and just wonder what it would be like to do it. And they just don't do it, you know. And, and this is why it's frustrating sometimes that we get it, a lot of the readings that we do seem to be similar. Because you know, people just don't take that chance. They don't take that leap of faith. They just want to sit there and hope it happens. It doesn't. You have to put the work into, you know, there's people out there that have made it, you know, and, you know, we, you know, we, we, we started doing our bit for you, for all of you. And that's what you've got to do for yourselves. Just lift yourself out of the chair and start moving. But thank you. I'm going to leave that one with you, Holly. And uh, hope that resonated with yourself. And uh, thank you again for supporting us and being here. And uh, thank you so much for your donation, Holly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that donation too. Thank you. <laughs> but you take care. Keep smiling. Um, we'll sh we'll be doing uh, a mini reading for Anna shortly, most likely on Zoom. So I'm just waiting. I'll let her explain why when she comes on. <laughs> um, oh, you're most welcome, Holly. It was, it's so nice to have you on. And even when Amber comes on, it's lovely. Uh, when everyone comes on, it's just so nice to see people, you know, even that, that come back and everything. Yeah, and I'm interested to see what type. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've got a few, but <laughs> um, yeah, Ange, what do you think of Paul's haircut? You like it? You like? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yes, I had to have a haircut. Had to. Um, it needed doing. Uh, right, I'm going. I've got yeah. 40, I've got forty. I've got forty three comments to look through. Yeah, he his haircut actually makes his eyebrows stand out now. Oh, good. Don't stop. Uh, I don't know whether he realised that. You shouldn't have waxed them the other day because now they really stand out. No, when I had my haircut yesterday with my mate, he actually he was a proper hairdresser, by the way. Yeah. Not just one I found on the street. Um, he actually did do my eyebrows just to make bring them into. But you trimmed them even more now. He just trimmed them. No, it should lift on. So, what do you mean, Ange? He should have left his hair on or his eyebrows? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> How is everyone else? So I think we've got a few people on here um, at the moment. Yeah. Uh, just let, uh, let you know how you can get. Oops, I've opened something else by mistake. Oops, sorry. No, I, I won't freeze, Ange. I won't freeze. Don't worry. I've got a hat. Is it? What is it? She doesn't like your haircut. As you get older, you need to trim eyebrows and nose hair. Sarah, that is what I said to him. Did you get your nose hair trimmed? You, you needed it. And no. apparently that's something he didn't do. No, they don't. I reckon, I reckon the barber just took one look at it and thought, Ugh, no thanks. Yeah, but they don't normally stick their fingers. Yeah, you, do it your, you do it, the mirror's hair. <laughs> Imagine trimming someone's nose hairs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. you should have kept his hair on. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I needed to do it. This will this will last for three months now. Yeah. No, he told me that uh, because he's been changing wigs, right? And it was just <laughs> sliding off. So you know, he's just decided not to wear any of them now. Oh, look, you've um, made your eyebrows. Just to get them cleaned. Yeah, just yeah. to get them cleaned. So <laughs> maybe when they come back from the dry cleaners. <laughs> uh, you know, because they're looking a bit manky. Just uh, imagine that. It had bits in it from when he eats. Uh, it was just... <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I thought you were reading your comments. You said you had about 43 comments. I'm just talking to everyone. I oh, know. Them, them comments went from 43 down to zero. So the, the rest of them just disappeared. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say uh, thank you. Uh, I've just realised who Holly is now. I did a reading for her ages. You know, Holly is Amber's friend. I know, I've just realised. Oh, my goodness. They really, I think they cut more than your hair. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got ping pong balls yeah, running around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Did oh, they cut the hair in your ear? Most probably. Oh, I reckon that explains your, your you know... Your short-term memory is just... No, but I tell you, I, um, someone was talking to it. It's the Turkish ones, uh, Turkish hairdressers that are here. What they do, they put like a... They, they burn the hair in your ear earlobes. Oh, do they? Yeah. Ange, no, Ange reckons you should get a stud in your ear now. A stud? I yeah. don't think so. Yeah, I'll do it for you. I don't think so. You know, all you need is an ice cube and a pin, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll do it for you. You just <laughs> want here. Okay. If that's if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I've got plenty of earrings you can wear. <laughs> no, oh. I, I think my ears look nice as they are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's what you get when you have a haircut, see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's all right, Anna. Take your time. Yell out when you're ready. No, but normally, normally when people say things like that, they say when you're going back to have when they going back to finish it off. Oh, because you oh really? Because you got a little bit left. I'm surprised they didn't shave the whole thing off. No, it looks nice like this. I just want I'm wondering. It looks like your head's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. It looks nice. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's all right. I'll just do it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't nice. It looks like my head's dirty. No, I remember some bloke, oh, God, oh, years ago. He used to walk around to... to you know, what you used to do. Can to I just say something before you continue? What's that? Nicole, um, I don't just pull out one card. I, I, I don't feel that's enough um, to give you like a, a little mini reading. And so I need to pull out a few. So I don't want to do one now because Anna's nearly ready. But um, if you would like a mini reading, all you need to do is share this live. And you'll see like others, if you have a look even at Sarah's name, she's got the word sharer. But I, I just don't, I, I would, wouldn't feel right just to pull out one card. Um, I, I like to look at a whole sort of story for you when I do it. 
Okay, you can keep going, Paul. I forgot what I'm saying now. But oh, um, I, I, don't, I don't look like a monk, uh, Ange. Oh, who said that? Ange. I did like you at one point, Ange. Sorry, you've lost my friendship now. Oh, it's all right. She's my friend. She's not your friend. <laughs> okay, Anna, I'm going to send you the link. Have <laughs> you sent a message to this page before, Anna? Um, I'll get the link ready and I'll just have a look. Yeah, she was uh, on that before. We did a reading for yeah, her. But I don't remember if we would did it from your page or not. Ah, you know, right. uh, <laughs> uh, let me just... huh. Yeah, I forgot. My head just went. <laughs> My God, and just shared. What happened? Yeah, I know. I saw that. Wow. She, she's a, a sharing professional now. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> now, I don't know if Anna has sent a message to this page before. Wow. No, was it? On, no, I'm sure it was through your page. No, oh, no, no. I've got a message from her from this page. That's all right. Yeah. No, because I can't send out the link or I can't send a message out unless someone has messaged us. Okay, Anna, I sent you the link. Um, all the info you need. Did Did you read what Sarah put? She had her nose waxed. Actually, was strangely therapeutic. Her <laughs> nose waxed. Oh, yeah. you're kidding. Yeah. Did it make you sneeze? Oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let me know. Oh. Yeah, no, I've sent um Anna the um the info. Hi Natasha, how are you? I was just oh, yeah. I thought it so. Yeah. I please request a reading. Um, well, if 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 you can share our page, Natasha. Our live. I, I keep saying page. It's our live. It's Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been busy Make today. It yeah, it's brought out a different person now. I think not. <laughs> I, I, de I definitely need some energy. Who's, who's coming over? Uh, you need some chocolate. No, 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 no chocolate. I'll, I'll get some biscuits. I'll, I'll have some biscuits. I'm just waiting for Anna to come on. There she is. Is she there? Yeah, she's coming. Hello. Ding dong, Avon calling. <laughs> there she is. Avon calling. <laughs> there she is. Oh, her audio still. We've got to wait for our audio to connect. Can you? Am I echoing? Everyone, left. We can hear you. So, what mask did you have on your face? Wait for our audio to connect. Oh, you need to mute the Facebook one. <laughs> what mask did you have on your face? A collagen mask. Oh, you need to make sound on Facebook. How's that? That's good. That's a. <laughs> we'll soon see. <laughs> if if we hear our voices okay. back, we'll know we're we you okay. have it. Okay. Sorry. I like your hair. Your hair's nice. Thank you. With the, with the, the streaks there. It looks nice. Yeah, thanks. Um, the girls at my school love it. <laughs> the kids love it. Brilliant. Yeah. That's hilarious. And I say, I, you crack me up. How you guys <laughs> I actually like the sign you have in your classroom. There's, um, no, is it no sarcasm in the classroom? <laughs> yeah, no dark sarcasm in the classroom, right? Yeah. Yes, I love that. <laughs> so, so how have you been? I'm good. I'm good. I just, um, like, do I, I don't know, because I only had that one week when I came on before, so I didn't say anything, right? Like, I just, you guys just knew, <laughs> amazingly. Um, is it? Like that, is that how you guys always do this? Like, or do you, can you ask a question? I can't, I don't know how it works really, other than if I just um, come, what, general or if there's. Well, sometimes there's general questions, but, it, it, um, you know, um, 
I, just, I can give it a go for you. If you it's if just you how you feel. It's just how you feel. If we feel yeah. it's going to be too much. No, yeah, um, no. Yeah, like, to share with I, others. I, right, I'm just, so aside from the other stuff that last time that you probably don't remember because I forget when I do readings, <laughs> like completely. So um, I was just wondering, like I have been having some stuff happening behind me a lot lately here. And so I, I just was curious as to see if there, you guys can pick up any, like, See anything about that because I can't read for myself it's pointless like, I can't so you, you just basically want to know if your place is has spirit in it no, well it, everywhere <laughs> I live everywhere I live yeah. at some point has activity like it, it's followed me for 42 years so I'm starting to think maybe it might not be the houses it might be me <laughs> so um there you go it's about a year in everywhere and so like I was sitting here the other night and okay. Okay. reading um my grimoire and bang huge noise behind me like just back there, and it. Was... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a quick question. Has someone been moving stuff at the back? I, Has... I hear that. Like it, it sounds be... like stuff's happening. It, it's yeah. like that because I'm being focused. Are they your cereals at the back? Not I'm... mine. They're not. I don't really eat that. But that's like my boyfriend and my kids. Like so... yeah, because some something someone wants to move those cereals. Well, great. <laughs> Because like I'm, I'm focused on someone saying there's too many. Right. Oh, I say that. Yeah. Too, <laughs> Maybe it's my poltergeist. I don't know. Because <laughs> that drives me crazy. It's, it's <laughs> definitely not. It's definitely not a poltergeist. No, <laughs> you, I, I, I mean, you, yeah. would, you would know if that was a poltergeist. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, like, so, okay. I had, um, I just, I had like a, a you know, a near death experience in 2017. And since then, like things have been more like, you know, and um, I stopped trying to suppress at this point, like, cause I was like, whatever, like now I've seen what's on the, you know, um, the experience to say the least. Um, so i am like been reading more cards and doing stuff and like just going with that. So I just wanted to know if like, there's something that, I don't know, any advice you guys have about like how to just not be terrified every time that happens because I want to be able to connect, right? Like, you know, but it scares me at the same time. But, um, <laughs> but I think, didn't we say this before about you, you know, when, when there was spirit around you that, um, you know, just, just to relax and just, you know, if, if you, you know, if it's a good one, <laughs> because right. it'll be so calming because if, even when you're uh, working, you know, you're, you've got that calmness around you. You know, you have to be calm to do the job that you do. Right. And they've got that. Sometimes, uh, and a lot of people don't realise this, you have to go through something dramatic to bring everything out. Right. Okay. Uh, I mean, properly dramatic. And, and you did. And I'm sure, well, I know I did. And, um, and it, it just helps in that respect. But... There are, you know, and that opened your gift up as well. So if you wanted to, you could do what we do. All right. I mean, you just need to tune it in. You need, just need. I'm to trying to figure out how to do, and I'm having problems. Like I'm having a hard time with it. Like, but no, no. I do. So like, I have this. Like, I keep. I, I have to keep going back to 2017 and be like, no, this happened. So it's real. Yeah. 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 So, logical thinking because you have to shut that side off to be open right like you have to stop yeah being so um black and white thinking i guess so yeah. I, I just the other night though i gotta say i was scared like i hear stuff all the time all the time like almost every night around three or four in the morning because <laughs> that's what time it is um <laughs> something will happen and i will just be like can you not do that right now like i'll just talk like calmly and it'll stop but the other night that's not what happened. it i felt like it felt like somebody touched me on the lower of my back and I was like okay and then this huge noise and I don't know what it was and then I felt like I needed to leave and like I got all like it felt thick as I walked past here like my whole left side of my body like stood on end like okay. my and I was like not pleased with that I was very unhappy about it I was mad like I was like damn it I don't want to be uncomfortable in my house like I mm. love it so I'm wondering if like is that just me being 
scared because it was three in the morning and, and I was by myself and just overreacting. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just figured I'd ask you guys because you seem to know what you're talking about. Oh, no. And I don't have anyone else to ask. <laughs> Sorry. I've, I've actually had that sort of thing happen to me before. And I'm laying in bed and, and I can, you know, and I, I actually do get people touching me and I'm, and I'm going, oh, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to sleep here. Go and go and do one. You know, you're you're in control, so they can't they can't do anything. Basically, they'll they'll try, but you're in control. Uh, but Are you having a near death experience like make it more. Oh, that was, that that that's that's a good way of opening you up. And ever since, but what I got with yourself when you were talking about that um, that thing uh, a second ago. Yeah. I, I got a student of some sort. It's like someone's attached themselves to you because you're open to it. Yeah. Because and it feels like a student that one that many years ago, I'm not saying it's from this time frame, it's like way, way ago that was part of a school or somewhere where you've been, where you've been teaching. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I worked at a school last year that was hell haunted. Yeah, um, yeah there was this, this rap artist guy like committed suicide like right after he shot a video there. And he uh -huh. came to there because it was haunted. Like he wanted to film it there. Uh -huh. And like, um, I would be in my classroom by myself and the doors would open. Like it was bizarre. Like some of my students would run out of the room. It was kind of like, out of a, it was, at first I thought it was a joke. Like kids were messing and pranking me, but I left my camera in there. Like, um, security I left the security camera in there and oh stuff at like in the middle of the night just moving around it was crazy I, and I wasn't scared ever there I wasn't scared I was intrigued because it no. wasn't my house like I could leave you know <laughs> like I wasn't living there um so I wonder maybe that might be something yeah, it like feels like something's attached itself to you right awesome great <laughs> fantastic so what you've basically got to make sure they do it's like it's like a, an infatuation with a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you know, like some kids get an infatuation with yeah. the, the okay. teacher because they think, oh, you know, if I if I'm not close to them, they'll give me some good marks. Right. Oh, yeah. They get. Yeah. They try and get too close then. Right. So, I mean, is it just to be like holding ground and like? just calm myself down in that moment? Is it like the negative, if I get scared, like does that scared energy like translate over that to that and make it? You, you've got you've got to be strong and and just say, just stand, you know, move away because this isn't your place. Go back to where you were, but you know, because um, if I do, I, I just tell them to just, you know, it's your time, you've got to move forward. You've got yeah. to move into the next, not into the light, but wherever you're going, go, <laughs> go and go and see your friends. But I've had enough of your playing, playing around, as it were. Why do they? Is it just to get attention? Is that like the noises and stuff? Yeah. Is it, or yeah. are they just doing their own thing and it happens to? No, a lot. A lot of it's more attention. You know, you can be sit. I can be sitting here, and then the door will knock, and I'll think. Okay, if you if you want to not not, but I'm still going to be watching my telly. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, I'm going to. I'm not going to. You know, come and watch the telly with me. I don't care. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause I have like my altar. Like here, I'll show you. My altar is like right behind me over here. You see? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like over here, like I see stuff out of the corner of my eye all the time. <laughs> like, just like there's a somebody. Literally, I thought my daughter was going to come talk to me a couple times, and I turned to say hi, and nobody was there, and that was like holy shit like literally I saw out of the, her standing you know walk past and stand at the door and like there's nobody there and I'm just like okay I'm losing my mind or you're not again, losing your mind we are. <laughs> here I am in the same situation I've been every no, other. You, you, you're not losing your mind you, in, within yourself you're you know what what's going on right I, I just but you, you you've just got to calm down when you do it <laughs> did you guys have like do you guys ever I guess struggle with that. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying. I I know I like you guys do readings that I'm asking like a thousand questions. I'm sorry. I just want to know: Do you guys have like moments where you question, like, 
if your stuff's real and but then like you have to go back in time like kind of validate yourselves like you know what I mean like I have this constant like where I have to remind myself like again like you died and left and came back and like that was a real thing and it was documented like that happened so mm -hmm. if that's real then other stuff's real like you know what I mean um do you guys ever struggle with that or did you at some point um maybe when when I first started and that's about as far back and now now from doing what we do you know um and the further I've come on in my journey I don't know don't know if it's similar for Savannah but yeah. with myself I just I just go with it you know right. because, I get what Anna's saying too. I like I, I don't doubt it because I've had things happen all through my all my life, right? But when I feel that happens to me too, sometimes I can really feel a presence there, and it feels like there's a portal when you right. walk over a certain part. Apart, it's like that's the portal, and um, I just I'm sure you, you're familiar with saging. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just do that, and I have the black tourmaline in all the corners. Okay. Um, I, I just keep I, you just keep cleansing, and and I, I you don't need to be scared. I would even ask, like you know, ask who they are and what do they want, you know, why are they there? And but I get the same as you. And when you do see things at the corner of your eye, or you feel that presence there, they are there. Right. I know. Like, I, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't usually bother me. It's just like the other day it was kind of like Jesus, like it was really a loud thing that happened, yeah. and it and it just happened after they touched my yeah. back. It was like static cling. Like I was wearing a blouse, and then all of a sudden at the small of my back, static cling started happening. Like it felt like that, you know, that feeling of static cling yeah. out of nowhere. And I'm sitting here and I'm writing, and it happened, and I was like, wait a minute, is that, am I being touched? Like, it took a second for me to realize what it was, and then I'm like, please don't do that, and then it stopped, and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> like, yeah. the so, fact that it responded, like, that it stopped kind of freaked me. I think I got a, the better of myself, like, I just, you know, because I, like, my whole, like, life, I've had stuff happen to, but it's so crazy that if I, I'm lucky I've had people with me, so that they would, had been able to go, no, that happened, that was not your imagination, but, because I have to keep reminding, it's so, there's so much stuff that like science yeah. tells you isn't real, like, you know, and it's just like, oh my gosh. So I'm trying to just let go of that. So I was but, hoping you guys could do a read and tell me like, eh, did you hear that? <laughs> like just right now, um, that happened again. Mm -hmm. So right on, okay. Yeah, it's because we're talking about them. Right, so. Yeah. It's okay, I'm, I'm and they want to get noticed now. <laughs> yeah. um, so like what, I mean, yeah, whatever you guys see, I, I would love to hear it. I'm just. Now, uh, now you said that the person actually is that a counter that's directly behind you. Yeah. They've walked from behind the counter, right? And they've put their face right up onto the screen. So yeah. the camera, I can actually see them right on the yeah. camera. <laughs> what do they look like? He's a bit angry. <laughs> no, hey. not, I think it's because we've noticed him. Right. Oh. Do they not like it? He, he didn't want to be noticed. He, 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 it's like you're sharing him with us. Oh, yeah, that's not what I'm trying to do, man. I'm just trying to give myself and, some peace. And he wants you to himself. Oh, well, you know, that's... He's yeah. getting lying. <laughs> yeah. But also, I, I don't know why this one's come up as well. There's a girl come on the other side. Right. So there's yeah. two. Mm -hmm. but she's, wearing, she's wearing a cheerleader's outfit. Right. Yeah. I mean, I took a picture out of my window mm. and like then I looked at the picture and the reflection in the glass. And there was literally two people standing at the bar behind me and it's plain as day. And I was like, what in the is going on? And I showed <laughs> all of my friends and they're like, dude, who's at your house? And I'm like, nobody, dude, that I'm here alone. And it's, I like, I will share it with you guys. I will show you like, there's no, it is bizarre. Like she's like at the counter like this in the picture and he's like, they're all on each end. Yep. Like, uh, and I don't know, there's no history in this house of anything like that. So no, no, but it's just, but it's, it's just strange. I picked up along the way. Say that again? I picked up along the way. Like I say, it's most probably, yeah, it's just people that, like you said, 
um, it could have been that school that you went to. I don't, you know, um, spirit come in. They do what they need to do. They cling on and they go, right, we're going to do this. And they, they try and have a bit of fun and then they move on because they, f they get fed up. These ones just want to stay. These ones just want, want to have a laugh. And, then, and they're constantly laughing with you while they're trying. They're laughing at you sometimes because, oh, sure. yeah. because you can't see them. <laughs> I, can, I, I, I can imagine. <laughs> like, I would be laughing at me too. Yeah. If I <laughs> but, the, but the cheerleader, it was like the top top cheerleader it was like yeah. he was top top so she's she's got her i'm in charge moment i i know right it's like she's in charge of him huh. so she rules him oh, sure. how old are they you, like how you guys um i don't know what it'd be like um school ways uh school 16, 17, 16, 17. Hmm. Yeah, they might around that sort of age. You know where they played, because uh, like, I think he played school football. Uh, um, or, uh, what, what we were called, American football. Right, right, right. Yeah, like, yeah, not yeah. soccer. Right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and he was, it's, it's big built. Yeah, okay. it's like uh, I have prom, prom king and queen. Oh, funny. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah. And yeah, so their kids. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes more I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because. Yeah. I, and, and, a kid, I do the same stuff. <laughs> and because they're in that mindset, right. you know, and you're the teacher, they want to mess about. It's like they're in the classroom and they want to mess about. Right. Oh, right. So, do I handle it like a classroom then? Pretend you're like the teacher. Yeah. Just say, look, sit down. You know, don't, don't, yeah, don't upset the rest of the class because they're trying to learn. Is she blonde? All of them were blonde in them days, weren't they? <laughs> I don't know because my boyfriend will say that he thinks he sees me in the back of the house sometimes. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not out when I'm over here. Because I'm yeah. always in front of my desk working, so. But she's very... actually she's actually sitting here, same as the, yeah. the bloke, uh, the 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 man, and she's showing her face on the screen, and she's got a bit of a, you know, it's like, why can you see us? Why are you doing this? You know. Yeah, that's bizarre. I'm like, and I, I'm sure there's probably more, <laughs> just them. <laughs> I'm sure there's more that come and go. Anna, I, I was, yeah. Anna, I've just been pulling out some cards. Um, and like, I've pulled out the transformation card. And the feeling I'm getting is that um, the energies that you have there, they've actually been attracted to you because you've been transforming. Um, and they've, they've, they've been attracted to that. Um, like your energies have been changing. And that's what's drawn them to you. And um, I've got that, uh, you know, staying centered, staying centered and grounded will actually help you resolve, like, you know, help you um, through it. Right. Um, I, I've just been trying to pick up a reason why they're there. That, that's what I'm getting. I don't know, Paul, if you can see. Oh, no, I think I've already said it. They're just there yeah. because they're, yeah, they liked, you know, the, the energy and everything. Yeah, well, that would be the transformation that yeah, she's yeah, yeah. going to but, but they want to, they just want to have a, you know, they have a laugh now because they just want, they just want to have fun. And that's yeah. why they move things because I don't know what it is. Is it that, have you got a, like a blue lamp thing at the back that's sitting on that counter? Something that's got a blue thing on the top. Yeah, I mean, there was a like an oil lamp back there. That could be the thing, and they they like it's like they're doing this while you're in, while you're in bed. And it's like they want to break things. I can't believe you just said like I look at my hair standing up. I can't believe you just said. I swear, look at can you see it? It's like standing <laughs> up on it. that lamp. We it 
we were hearing this popping noise all the time. It was like this weird popping. And I went in there one day and it was on and it was popping. It was making this noise. And I was like, what in the hell? Like, why is it doing this? I shut it off. And it was like bother. It was like for a month, like it was happening. And I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And it was the lamp. Like, so I, yeah, like that, that it's like that blue ceramic, like back. Mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's, I make candles. I put them all there. And sometimes I feel like they're not in the same spot. Oh, you make them yourself, do you? Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. COVID. <laughs> Hobbies. <laughs> well, that's it. It just keeps you going. <laughs> You know? And I was going to say, you're going to get, someone said to get you an earring. I was like, I'll make you some. I just made these the other day. Like, <laughs> I'll make you an earring. Oh, nice. I, I, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, keep, I'm keeping my ears as they should be. I'm going to get them pierced. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, but I'm trying to, I keep busy. Like, I, I, I'm busy, so maybe they like that. I'm, yeah, I want, yeah. I do have a lot of energy. In case. But you've got a, you've got a class today. Yeah. Yeah, because I think they'll, they'll come with you as well. Because I don't know if while you're, um, you know, while you're teaching, uh, they they actually do go to the other students. Oh, and they okay. walk in between each student. Yeah, you can tell them to stop talking in front of everybody. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, it's like sometimes they want to grab hold of the pens hmm. and make mistakes. Make yeah. people make mistakes. <laughs> um, in a sense. I, 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 did that did you guys hear that what was that i'm gonna have to watch a video i just heard something yeah i'll have to watch it back <laughs> i heard something i don't know about i'm totally did you guys I hear that like no right. i think it's because we're we're telling them the truth <laughs> they, they don't think that people can say anything bad about them or or see them or tell them what they're going to do but i can hear them i can see them i can you know yeah so i mean like I guess how can I just I I just want to see if like am I does it look like from the cards I'm doing the right stuff that I'm supposed to be doing I just need to ground and center more like is that meditating is that what um that's what I've got from the cards here and I've got like um a clip oh hang on I switched the screens I've got like it's a, like cleansing yeah. um so like it, it's just like purificate purifying yourself and yeah. um, cleansing meditating um and i guess saging your place right can i ask a question yeah. i don't know why they're showing me this um you have the hoovers do you find things go wrong when you know when you're hoovering because they're, show, they're showing yeah. hoovering vacuuming uh yeah. whatever you know you know i just bought a hoover literally yeah like <gasps> vacuum i just bought like mm. a month ago months ago yeah and okay. i backed a lot because <laughs> no, it just they, is this your cooker down this side that on the uh, you know on the other side on the other side of this bit yeah on, like on your left you know where the wooden slats are oh, yeah that's my stove oven, oven yeah yeah right. oven stove yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> because there it seems to be something there it's like somebody's going to muck about with it or turn it off or are you talking about this? Yeah, I I couldn't see that. <laughs> I couldn't see that. No, I, I like, can't see it either. That's my yeah. I use that all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to play about with it though, because okay. it's like a bit of fun. <laughs> I might have a heart attack with that one. Um, <laughs> I'm serious. Oh my god! Yeah, I yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. You can't see. I yeah. No, I can't see it. Uh, I because all I could see because the way you were angled. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I didn't see it in the shot at all. So yeah. yeah. So that's so weird. Oh, you're freaking me out. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. So oh. they're so they're kids and they just want to like mess around and um kind of because that's, because that's who they are. That that's because I, I keep getting nineteen fifties. I don't know why I keep getting 1950s. Yeah. You know, right. like rock and roll era. Right. I'm going to yeah. check the school records to see because that the school used to be a, um, a Catholic. It was a Catholic school owned by the uh, Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. and they had a lot of stu student um, 
<laughs> I love it. Side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I swear to God, I just saw something right here, like right here. <laughs> I was like, please don't. Um, That's it. Right. So I guess I guess I just need to like chill and like accept that this stuff is a, a thing, and and it's not necessarily just. I think it's because we don't understand it. Like we don't know. And I think taught. a lot of it you're using your science brain as well. Thank right. you. It's, it's not. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I do. I do that all the time. Yeah, um, like but I said, it's, it's one of those things. It, it is there, and yeah. a lot of people just science. I, I don't know in your in science if they because do they do these tests every now and again to see to see what pe you know if people um, are real and genuine. Yeah. Yeah, because yep. didn't, didn't they put up a million pounds or something or a million dollars to see if they could answer certain questions? The near death, yeah. If, if there's life after death, that guy that just did that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that in Las Vegas, yeah, that's a, a thing. I don't know how they're ever going to prove that, but um, yeah, but it's yeah. because of the way I work and the way Savannah works. So we all work different, you know. Yeah. You, it's like we're we're getting bits as they come through, but. We might not answer that question, right? But because you're under pressure, right? 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 Yeah. You know. So yeah, and that's the other thing. I get like, I don't know how to put it, like flashes of stuff. I like a scene plays out like in my that's my, good like, somewhere in my forehead, I guess you say. Yeah. Uh, that's just third eye <laughs> in my head. That's not my voice, like, but it's not like a crazy kind of like other. No, 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 no. I understand that one. Like I'll just know, like I'll hear like something will pop into my mind and it'll be like, where the hell did that come from? You know, and, like that was not an original thought, like what? And and it's weird and I can't, I don't feel like I can have any control over it. Okay, okay. But like when it happens, it's super vivid. Like, mm -hmm. one, like I'm watching a movie almost like, and, uh, but lately it's just been like repressed, I guess, memories from my own life, like that have been popping up. Yeah. And I don't know if that's like normal. I don't know who the hell I'd even ask about that. You know, like my therapist would tell me I was crazy. So um, I, you know, I don't talk about that kind of thing with anybody really. But like, I've been having that lately a lot. And I'm just like, kind of trying to come to terms with why. Like, is it just because I'm ready now? Or is it time that like, I'm able to know this stuff and it makes more sense? You know, uh, like, you know. I can a lot of what you're, a lot of what you're talking about is you need to, it, it, you need to um, work it all out. It's like little parts of the jigsaw because I, I, what, I, what I keep getting with you as well, dreams. There's some really weird dreams you've been having as well lately. That's an understatement. And they're, and they're the ones that um, you've got to, I think I told you before about having a book or something next to your bed and then writing down at least what you can remember from that dream. Yep, I've been doing that. And, and then you have to go back to those and you go, oh, and then and then it all clicks into place. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what's happening. I guess it's yeah. part of the process after you die <laughs> and come back. Is yeah. that you start to I guess. I don't know. I just I it's like most people have near-death experiences. They talk about Jesus and stuff, and that's not my experience. I just no you know, that was, it was great experience. It was an experience I needed at the time, but like and now things are different. And I'm like trying to kind of connect with it, I guess. And I just want to make sure I'm doing the right stuff that I need to be doing and that I'm not crazy. Um, no, I mean, you're not crazy. Don't, don't worry about that. Because yeah. I got, did you did you have an out of body experience? Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I see you floating above. Uh-huh. And That's floating funny. above the bed. <laughs> or floating. It feels like you want to go for a, 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 a float around the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, it was a uh, really crazy. It was nuts. It was like I left and I saw myself down, and I had one thought, and I'm really disappointed in how unprofound it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was shit. That sucks. Because it, remind, it reminds me of a film. <laughs> what? It reminds me of a film that I watched years ago. Um, same sort of thing, it, it, and, you, and it felt like you could just walk through anything and right. just go anywhere. But then. Yeah. If you don't go back to you, then you, you wouldn't have been talking to us now. Right, right. No, I, it, I, went, I heard like someone told me no, and like just back and it, like. It's not your time. 
Yeah, like they didn't even say that. I knew what it meant. The word no was enough. It encompassed, yeah. like I, it, the message was there. And like, I just got shoved back. Like, and it hurt. It physically like was on, it was like someone punched me in the gut really hard right under my sternum, like boom. And just, that's when I <gasps> back and was back. And like, they were like, oh yeah, we lost you. Yeah. And yeah. I, I was like, I know, because <laughs> I saw it, like it was nuts. And um, yeah, like since then, that was in 2017. And since then, like I've just, my whole life changed, like everything changed about it. Like my wow. ethics, my drive, like I went back to school, I finished my education. Like I started teaching, I started caring about other people. Yeah. I care about like injustice. Like I'm really super affected by things that are going on currently like just with people being racist idiots and like just stuff really really affects me and, and I'm trying to like do what I can to like help I don't even know what you know like I'm just I counsel my students they all come to me for their personal problems and stuff I'm like exhausted at the end of the day because they're like telling me all their dramas and I have to listen because I might be the only one that's listening you know mm -hmm. like so suddenly I became like a counselor I don't know like you know I and I just feel like I need to be doing that so my yeah. other like big question is, am I doing the right work right now? Like, am I on the right path? Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And I, I don't know how to answer that question for myself. And my but cards just tell you, me. You will. You will. <laughs> but, but just um, one of the last things, those two people are dancing behind you. Oh, nice. They're having fun. They're having yeah. some fun. Literally yeah. stood right behind, well, start dancing behind you. It looks like, you know, like the, the rock and roll dance. From, like happy days yeah basically it does look like happy days to me <laughs> waiting for the funds to walk in that's awesome yeah i yeah. mean like guys i appreciate like i mean i know this is not the norm for you guys but this is but, why they're so awesome everybody that's out there watch you guys should be like getting up on this it's, I, it's, I love it's you guys I love every but, day like <laughs> no we appreciate that and you know like we say we, we want you everybody to be happy when they go away and we you know we will try our best and we've noticed things so <laughs> you know and, and things that we wouldn't have noticed before but look at I think that serial thing I think someone is gonna it feels like someone's gonna get really not angry angry it feels like someone wants to just tip it upside down and empty the contents hopefully that happens when I'm at work Mm. energy healing i got out it looks like you're going to be your 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 energy actually heals others and you'll probably find that you're going to maybe are you into crystals and uh, you're going to do some sort of healing with crystals right i've just got tuning for i've been tr just trying stuff like so i got tuning for i have crystals that i've been just like and my i'm getting my phd in metaphysics now like that's my new thing so i'm trying yeah. to just incorporate science and yeah. I've got career change. Yeah. Yeah. I, the teaching thing, I love it, but I just don't know if it's the right where it's I'm supposed to. It's not in your heart. You it's, know, that's. Yeah. I do. I love it, but it's like yeah. there's so much red tape that it's goes with else. it, you know, that it's frustrating. Um, I just don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure out what to do, but I guess I already knew that. So that's, thank you for that confirmation because. I love it. And it's like right now is what I'll do until the next thing presents itself. Right. But I just want to make sure, I guess I'm on the right path then. I feel like I am. I just wanted to make sure. I, I honestly don't think that's that far away. All right. I, I don't either. And I'm just like, I just, I think that I'm supposed to be doing something to help. It's like somebody's going to present you with something. It's going right. to be, come on, yeah. we've got a job for you. And it's like, you'll get a bit of paper that says this. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean. And I'll just pass it to you. And there you go. It'll be like a diploma of some sort. Yeah, I, it could be even like some sort of therapist, um, you know, like um, a counselor or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's just what I'm getting that. from you. That's what I'm, that's what I've been, those are the two, teaching or therapy. Like those are my two like options and I've been weighing them. And I guess what I'm, gra I'm going to get my, diploma Paul on the 30th of this month I'm driving to Utah to go get it from walking for graduation so that is correct I get handed a diploma yeah they just showed me this diploma yeah worked really hard for it <laughs> so I'm driving 600 something miles to go get it um, wow. Wow. My, my 
whitewater and my best friend. So we're going to do that trip and connect with nature a little bit in uh, the state park and spend some time doing. That's what, that's what you need. Is I it... feel like I need that. I feel like I need to be around. Are you near Yellowstone? Like it's Utah, so it's Zion. Um, it's weird. I saw a picture of where we're staying and I never had this happen before. When I looked at this picture, I was like, I know that place. Like I, that place is so like this, some, like I could smell the air and like, it was really weird. It like, it took me out of my moment of being present and to another place. And I don't know what that's about. You've been there before, basically. It was really weird. It was, I've never had that happen before. So I'm like really excited to go. (laughs) Well, that's it. When you get there, you'll be going, it's like deja vu as they call it. You know, you'll yeah. go, there's a rock over there. Oh, I've never been here before, but I know there's a rock over there that's got carvings on it. <laughs> Somebody I feel like that's going to happen. Like, I feel like that is going to happen. My daughter, she goes there. She's an archaeology major. She goes digs up dinosaurs over there. And wow. she's like, mom, I told you I've been there. But like, she said the same thing. She's like, oh, why do you think I'm so obsessed with it? Like, I feel like I've been there before. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know what she meant until now. I do. And it's like, so we're, we're going together on a girls road trip. <laughs> that's gonna be a nightmare <laughs> but it will be fun so I, I I really appreciate you guys um your time and stuff I appreciate it very much and sorry to everybody else that's out there happy to listen to this um I do you guys are awesome I, I, so oh, I love it I, I it was interesting as well you know to see you know what was happening and you know what's happening with you and everything but you know we love and this is good I like this as well like being able to help like this instead of just doing like the readings like we normally do. I feel like you guys know what I, I have watched you yeah. long enough and I like you guys I w- listen to everything that you say to everybody else like I'll just be doing my work and listening um and yeah. so I just felt like if I could ask anybody and it's been really like weighing on me to like find you know, like yeah. that stuff that I was gonna bother you with it <laughs> so um no, thanks. it's good that you did never, yeah. never a bother you know yeah. but, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah. No, like that's like using your gifts to help. Like that's a big help for me because I, it really is. Like just to hear. We appreciate that, every, every the guy one. and the girl. I'm going to send you, I will send you in a, a message the picture I'm talking about. With you yeah, please. And yeah. like, it's pretty nuts. I have to find it. So like I will send it later um, after work. I, and you guys will be kind of probably <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it's so obvious. So. I, yeah, thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. I, I, no, I can't say enough about you. No, do you know, you know it's, it's nice to have someone that we've spoken to a few times in the comments and on here. Just to, you know, it, it, it is. It's that friendship that we're building up. If we met in the street, we were going, oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I think you guys are awesome. And you're like, Slavani, you're hilarious to him. I can't even, like, your jokes are so, you're so mean. And I just, I'm dying over here. I'm like, oh my God, it sounds like Harley, like totally I, rip I, on I, my friends too. Like I, it's just like, I totally love the energy and you're such a good sport, Polly. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I actually go away and cry after. <laughs> <laughs> so like that's because I like do the same thing with my guy friends and they're like, I, cause I love them. So like, it's, you know, it's, it's all in good fun and I can tell. It's like, all in it's, fun, yeah. It's, I can give it back though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. I bet it's very uh, pointed. Ouch. <laughs> but, yeah, I, 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 thanks so much for your help. No, I'm I, glad I, you do. And thank you so much for your donation. We really appreciate that. Thank you. And I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy, um, you know, even just listening to us while you're working and everything, you know. Yeah, you're yeah. the only one. With any, I like I see a ton of people posting lives and that's like and eh. you guys are entertain like you entertain me as in like yeah like I feel like I yeah you guys are funny you know and it's not like and, and you guys are authentic like I hear what you say to other people and it's just like all of your messages are helpful and they're not like alarmist or you know what I mean like the other people like, give a curse on you right now <laughs> you know like if you don't do this <laughs> yeah you know like yeah. that, that sucks and um um yeah, I love that you guys don't do that and that you take the time to actually No, but talk. we want you to be friends as well, you know. What's, yeah, yeah. Like you guys, that's how it feels. I feel like everyone in the chat too, like just watching everyone's interactions is always yeah. so positive. You know? okay, we're gonna have to get everybody on the screen at one okay. at one time. Oh Zoom conference, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. that'd be really good. <laughs> we'll have to do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, you guys, I'm gonna 
get back to, I got to get my lesson plans for today. And um, I guess I'll take these guys with me to school and um, we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully nothing else crazy happens in the meantime. So I do have to study on my lesson plans, but I appreciate it guys. Really, I do. Thank you so much. And um, I, myself. I will be, I'll be like hanging out the next time I see you guys live and just listening to you guys. And yeah, um, that's, all. that's and great. That's great. Yeah. It's great but, that you do but that. The, but the, these two that are beside you are actually waving. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I like. Actually waving goodbye. <laughs> yeah, they're, because they're, yeah, they're 16, so they, they're like all hormonal crazy, right? <laughs> Hate you one minute, love you the next, right? That's kind of how it feels. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, yeah, it's well, always a pleasure yeah. to have a chat with you. Yeah, yes. I will. And when I have the moment to look for that picture, I will send it. I promise. I will send okay. it to you. Fantastic. I'll, I'll be Thank waiting you. on that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. You, have, you have a great day. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> See you. You guys are awesome. Right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, that was brilliant. I enjoyed that. Different. That was so good. I loved it. Yeah, different, but it was good. You know, um, it works. You know, it always works. But uh, yeah, well done. You you got your bit. I got my bit. Um, Anna Lee went away happy, and now she's going to take her two students with her. Yes. <laughs> uh, at least she won't be alone. No, that, that <laughs> is true. That is true. Yeah. 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 But it is. It, it, it's a um, you know, it's just one of those things that. Uh, you know, we're both, you know, we don't, like you said, we don't just do the readings. We, we yeah. do other things with it as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, if we can help, we will, you know. Um, and I'm so proud that we got asked those questions. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Was really yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right. Now, I'll just have a look to see if anyone else would like a mini reading. I'll just let you know what you can do. Um, we're choosing people randomly uh, who we're drawn to um, for the mini reading, but um, we ask that you share our live, please. Um, if you make a donation, uh, you will be guaranteed a mini reading or you can come on Zoom like Anna came on Zoom and we can do a mini reading for you. I've pinned all the details below um, with that information. Now, what I was going to do, Paul, is I'm just going to post a link to your page. Uh, the page that we're on now, Enchanted Oracle Readings, is my page and this one here that I'm about to post is Paul's page but if you would like to contact us for a private reading you can message either page even this one we can both access the messages um, so when you if you'd like a private reading uh, send the message via messenger and let us know who you would like to have the reading with and um, we'll then send you the details of how the readings work and everything that's involved. If that suits you, we'll then schedule an appointment for you. And um, so you can message either page. We can both see those. Um, no, but it, it, it you know, um, like we've said, a second ago you know we're all we're all a family and everything and and all the new people that have come on and um found us basically yeah you know we're thankful that you do but you're meant to be here for a reason you know we don't uh um you know every, that's it everybody finds finds us for a reason i can't say it everyone finds us for a reason you know, if it's, if, it's, if it's just for a reading or just for a chat, just to yeah. lift our energies, you know, and we're so proud that you, you know, that you do find us. Wow. But who's on next? Who's on next? Uh, uh, I'm just having um, a look at who we can do a reading for, uh, who has shared our live. 
Okay. Um, while we're just waiting for that, I'm just going to post a link to our YouTube channel because we do lives from there also. So I'll just put that on there. Um, just so that everybody's aware in case they'd like to join us on there. It's just because from time to time we do go um, live on our YouTube channel. Um, just doing the same things that we do here. Um, we chat, we do readings. And if you'd like to join us when we go live on YouTube, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And I've just put the link there now in the comments. When you subscribe... Don't forget to also click on the bell. So when we do go live, um, you get notified. <laughs> uh, but, it, you know, um, when we were doing uh, one for Anna Lee there, you know, I've noticed a few more, few new people come on. Huh. Thank yeah. you, Mari. Yeah, it, it is a good backdrop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ange. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. So who I'm just I'm just checking because um yeah, Mari's shared um our lives. So I was gonna do a mini reading for Mari. I'm just having a look on here. I can see it on the other page. <laughs> Thank you, Mari, for sharing our live. Yes, thank you. Thank yes. you, Lee. Is your name Lee or Monique or just Lee? Thank you. Hello, anyway. <laughs> Would you like a mini reading? Um, yes, Emily was very sweet, Emily. Yeah, she's a real lovely lady. She's been on before. She's a wonderful lady. Oh, no, it won't let you. I tried to put a, a picture here. Um, someone sent me a picture of a cat, of their cat, and I was going to share it with everyone here and I couldn't do it, Anna. You might have to send them on, yeah, to Messenger. Send them to Messenger and uh, we'll be able to see them. Yeah, yeah, it shows on your name now, Mari. Lee, okay. Yeah. See, let me see. It would be nice to see those pictures. Yeah. Yeah, I think she sent them already. Yeah. I yep. just want a sneak peek. Oh, you're going to have a sneak peek. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. I, oh, Paul, wait till you see these. I sounded a bit rude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My word. Oh. What, what are we on? Wait. You see these this photo? Okay. Yeah. Oh <laughs> wow! Mm. I can't stop looking at it. Mm. But we will. Uh, I will have a look after the show. Yeah. Sorry, I just got really engrossed in it. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for sending it, Anna. Um. I, I'll. Paul's going to have a look after the live. Thank you so much. No, I, we appreciate that. Thank you. You know, it, it just makes um, sense sometimes to have a look at those, <laughs> yeah, to get sent something that's, wow, <laughs> amazing. Um, wow. Yeah. All right. I'm... Um... Right, who we, who are we drawn to and who are we going to read for next? Please. Oh, hello. Okay, you're talking to yourself, Paul. I am, I always do that. Get a great conversation then. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, I think he did some, yes. I think it was Paul that's been in the washer. He reckons he's went to the barber. But I think, you know, he, was, he hadn't washed his pants for a while and he gets four wears out of them. Uh -huh. I think he fell in the washing machine too and it shrunk his hair. Shrunk my hair? Yeah. <laughs> Great. 
we're back to that again. <laughs> well, you know, people are asking what happened to you. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Uh, no, I, you know, no, I actually put some of that shrinking cream on my head. And uh, uh, it shrunk. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. You'll see tomorrow, you'll see him with hair because his wig would have dried by then. <laughs> yeah, it's actually on the line now, drying. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm pulling out cards for you, Mari. Oh. <laughs> no, that's me. I've, I've been in the washer, Emma, uh, because... Uh, yeah, I've I've had my hair cut, and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, wow. God, let's see. Oh, let's do that one instead. Sounds a bit better. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Um, I, I hope you are all enjoying your. Uh, oh, I can't, do you know, I can't speak now. I hope you're all having a great day and enjoying our little show and uh, enjoying, you know, what we have to offer, as it were. You know, and our, with our spiritual gifts, our psychic medium, well, my psychic medium gifts and, and Sylvana with her, the cards. Um, I hope you enjoy them and... Uh, uh, yeah, it, it just enjoying listening. It, it just enjoy listening to what readings we do for people, right? and mini readings, because you know we are. We both try our best, you know. But um, if you if you've never done this uh, sort of thing before, or you've, you know, uh, it does tend to tire you out very quickly. Um, if you're, you know. Because you because you have to work with the spirit and you know you connect with a person as well, so you're getting drained from both points, as it were. But uh, yeah, it's fun. I love it. Savannah loves it, and you know, we we hope that when you go away today, you you go away with a great purpose in life. And a great, um, what's that? <laughs> you know, Emma knows why you're having trouble speaking. Why is that? Because you have suds in your throat. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, let's have a look. No, it's because I think I'm... Uh, Where are we? Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, look, Christelle Watson. Nice to see you. First time here. Yeah. Um, oh, it's nice that you are here. Um, but if you wouldn't mind, as we say to everybody, Share, share our live and then please um, as you can see everybody has a share above their head above their name um, it'd be nice if you can do that for us but nice to meet you you know you were drawn here for a reason you, are you all ready no no I just said hello to Christelle oh right okay yeah you you were drawn here for a reason so hope you know if we're drawn to you, uh, but you've got to have shared before that that reason. Yeah, if we are drawn to you. Yeah, but uh, wow. <laughs> it, yes, I've just seen Lee's comment. Sylvana, what a beautiful name. What about my name? What about Paul? Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I actually, when you say drained um, from other people, I, I have I set boundaries and I actually have, you know, the, um, the blue light around me and the white light um, and I protect myself like that. And even within myself, I set the boundaries so that I'm not drained. But if you mean like getting drained from doing the readings, that I can't, like that goes. <laughs> you know, I, I do get to a certain point and I don't have anything left. <laughs> yeah, if it, it's just like, me. we're like a battery and our battery just yeah. drains. So I'm not sure what way she meant that. We, we start off, you know, like... And by the end, you, go, uh, <laughs> you sounded like um, R two D two. <laughs> oh, I ain't seen that film for a while. I'm gonna have to watch it again. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. No, it, it, it's not. Um, you know, the greatest thing because. If you, if you, when we've done this, because it's the middle of my day, I'll be going out and I'll be, uh, you know, going out. It'll be like I've, I've had only about two hours sleep or something, but I'll eat and get some, get some energy inside me. And yeah. So are we ready for this reading? Yes, it's from Mari. Yep. For Mari. Yeah. Um, Mari, I feel that um, you've been in a situation that has been very stressful, um, like um, very heavy in energy, like a big weight on you. Um, I've pulled this card out with this... Um, lady running away like from a storm from really bad weather um and really like holding her head and um i'm getting like it's like it's you where um you know you're just trying to pull yourself away from this heaviness and um you, you just feel very it's like clogged and burdened and um I need, I, I'm going to tell you that it's going to come to an end. This isn't going to last. Now, um, I feel that clearing your space, clearing the space around you um, is going to um, clear the energy around you. So you'll find that it's like Feng Shui. So I hope I'm saying that right, Feng Shui. That's how I say it. But I, I'm not sure if um, you know what feng shui is or um if you follow that but um it, it's I, i'm feeling that you have been heavily heavily um it's like all this energy is just like dumped itself on you and um it, it, you, that you need to actually decluttering your space is actually going to help you to clear the energy and um, and also like the, you know the way you have things in your home is and the way that you're going to like the energy will flow through is actually going to help you. Um, you're actually I feel that you're a very spiritual person and um, the, the love that you have, you, you share your love with everyone that you come across. Um, it, it's like no matter, there's no judgment. It's like that, that love within you is just eternal, um, regardless of what's happening, what is happening around you, what the person, our person's talking to you about, you know. Um, but um, it, it's... But yes, it's just that at the moment I do feel that you you do have like a, an a overwhelming um, heavy energy on you. Um, but that is what will actually help you clear it. Now, you once this happens, that you you once you clear, you'll find everything will run more smoothly. 
Um, I've also pulled out an abundance card for you, um, the shower of abundance. And um, this is all about like, um, you're going to be assisted with your financial situation. You're going to find that things will come flowing through, but um, I feel that you do need to clear your space um, declutter and allow the um, energy to be cleared for this to happen. Um, I, I sense here that you're, you've got a really good imagination. You're a creative person and um, your imagination is so, you, I mean, you're very imaginative um, and in the things that you can create, whether um, it's with your hands or even with your mind, the things that like even when you daydream, or even um, you're creative if you've got to solve a problem. Um, you just, you know, it just comes to you and you've got the craziest ideas, but they work. Um, so that's what I've got for you. I hope that helps you and that it resonates. We'll see what Paul can get for you, Murray. Murray, sorry. But, um, oh, okay. Well, we'll see what Paul can get for you and then um, I'll, you'll check out your comments as well. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. Mari, Mari, Mari. Right. Okay. Right. Thank you for joining us on this, uh, you know, on our little show. And, uh, yeah, Let, let's see what we can get for you. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Let's, let's tune in to you and see what we can get. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Wow. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, whoa, that's a good one. <laughs> right. First thing I'm getting with yourself is, there's a, a, as um, as Savannah said, there's a lot of energy running through you, but there's also a lot of panic uh, inside you as well for some reason. I don't know what it is and why you you're panicking and why you're um, you know you're like this because you're a strong person inside. You know, um, sometimes we we tend to you know, make ourselves panic for no reason. You know, we just wonder why people stop and start to, uh, start to, why we start to do this because we don't panic or have any of these emotions when we, you know, when we're born. We, it's like we, we bring them on to ourselves, bring them on ourselves. And when, when, you know, um, you know, things from the past, um, actually um, take us down the wrong road. Um, it feels like, it, it just feels like your head isn't in the right space. You know, if there's something negative that was in the past that keeps, info, you know, like impacting into your journey now, you have to be, more um, open to close that negative down, okay? But I think you can do that anyway. You, Like I said, you've got a strong mind, but you need to open your mind a bit more because it, it feels like you're just learning to become that person. It's like you're just, it's like you've just stepped over the bridge it's like you've just take, gone over that bridge and you're just starting to open up a bit more, to open up a little bit more. You know, you've got to send also that belief out to others, okay? You've got to send that belief out to others because I do believe the people in your group, in the people group of friends that are around you, you need to... It's like you're, you're all going through that same little journey. You know, you all want to change 
how you're all um, being, yeah, how you're all coming across. Because it feels like you're all in a group and you, it's like you want to, <laughs> it, I don't know how to put it across, but it's, it's like you're all helping each other to become a better you. It's like you're all got that, uh, not anger, but um, stress level, that depression med, uh, inside you. And you want, you all want to learn from each other. OK, but no, nothing what you do is wrong. OK, I'm, I've been told that nothing what what you do is wrong. So what you're doing is amazing. You know, you, you're going and, and you're doing the right things. You, you te- Sometimes you, you sit back and you go, oh, am I doing the right thing? But you are. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. OK, and you will make everything work and you will make other people listen because you've got that gift inside you that will help whoever whoever it is if it's not in your small group you can be walking down the street down down the road and somebody will um learn from your energies because they'll 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 feel that wonderful energy that you have around you and it'll be wow (laughs) You know, but you've got to keep going. Don't don't let it get you down, because sometimes, you know, there's a lot of people that want to put you down, you know, because they see you, that you're different to them. But you're no different to anybody else. Everybody's got a different way of looking at life. You know, those people that see something different inside you and they don't like what they see, it's because they're jealous of who you are that's all it is you know and it's what other people have told them if they open their minds themselves they would see beautiful people wherever they go you know and people need that but you've got the love inside you to give still out to give to people you know you've got that love inside your inside you to give out as well it's like you want. It's like you want to give your. It's like you want to put your arms out and go. There you go. There's the love, and you want to hug everybody. It's like you're a hugger. It's like you want to hug every single person just to pass on that great energy that you have inside you. Okay, but uh, you know you've taken the time. I know at, at the start, you know, of this little mini reading, you you've been um all over the place but it feels like you're you're slowly coming out of it you are coming out of it and you're and you are going to be a a great uh light that shines for so many people you're going to be a great light that shines for so many people you know and you you're going to be something that people have been waiting for for a while in in you know they've been waiting for something like this it's like these people a lot of the people that are going to be coming to you have never met you but they knew that they had to do something to do to change their lives and that it feels like they're going to be coming to you okay and i think that's what that group's about as well but there's so many people that the um the angels the spirit world they're they're pushing this forward now because you're not not on the wrong side of life it's um in in age wise it's more you're more you know it stop start stop start so however long it takes you to do this you know, you've got to make sure that you do it at a at a, a quicker pace so that you can, but don't miss out on the changes. People learn at different rates. It's like you're a, you're a good learner and a very quick learner. So, you know, you'll be fine. But uh, I'm going to leave that one with you, uh, Mari. I hope that resonated with yourself. And... Um, yeah, keep going and thank you for joining us on our on our little 
show that it's here to help as many people as possible and have a chat as well about just talk about stuff yeah and have some laughs <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for joining us and have a great day and keep going you know you get in there you've just got to now keep pushing it forward again so thank you and uh, yeah thank you <laughs> <sighs> You're most welcome, Mari, and thank you for joining us on our live. Um, it, it's nice. Uh, I know. I think you uh, you haven't been on before on our shows, but um, we'll actually be on again on the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, um, around similar times. And um, but thank you, and I'm I'm happy that you know that that uh, resonated strongly with you. Um, but it was fantastic having you on. It's actually fantastic having everybody on. Mm. But um, let me read the <laughs> comments now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually um, want to thank everyone that's come on, everyone that has, you know, joined us. Even if you're just listening, you know, sometimes it's nice just to listen, listen to the readings or the comments and things, and um, but and also to people that have um, with all their comments and all the chatter that we've had it's fantastic and the people that have let us do readings and for you thank you so much um, we've actually come to the end of uh, this live um, we've been on for nearly three hours and even for myself you get to a point where you just can't do any more readings you just you don't have the energy <laughs> And um, I think we've just reached that point. But um, this is my page. If you like my page, and I'm going to put Paul's page on there now too. If you like his page, um, that way we you can get a notification when we're on again. We will be on both Saturday and Sunday this weekend coming up. So this is Paul's page. And we will actually be on Paul's page um, this weekend. Um, Crystal, it's, um, you can get a reading when we come on live. Um, if you share our live, um, you, can get, you can get a guaranteed one if you make a donation. You can come on, if you make the donation, you can come on the Zoom like Anna did. Or you can book a private reading with us. So you don't just get that short mini reading, you'll get a full on in-depth reading. Um, if you would like that, you just contact, you can even send a message to this page um, and let us know who you would like to have a reading with and we'll send you the info of what's involved. And then if you um, are happy with that, we'll get something sorted for you. Mm. Yeah. But um, Paul, did you want to say anything before we go? No, no, I just want to say thank you. It's been a great show as normal. Um, and I just appreciate every fantastic comment um, that we've had and all the people that we've read today and for the donations also. Thank you to yes. you know, just everybody that takes the time to come and visit us. You know, um, if you, even if you don't get a reading, um, yeah, we've had comments where where people just like to listen, you know, and... Uh, oh, Mel was on. Didn't you see her? Oh, yeah, but I forgot because I didn't... She must have been just listening after because yeah. I didn't see the comments anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. No, I'm just grateful to, for that we have these gifts that we can share with others. Um, but... Uh, like we say, it's come to the end of this show and, um, yeah, um, we, we're going to be back on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Yes, and um, Paul has a surprise for everyone when we come back on the weekend. You know how we were talking about getting his ear pierced? Well, he might be wearing something on his ear, right, Paul? I do not think so. I <laughs> will see. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it is staying as they are. They're staying like this. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. We'll see you, everyone. Okay. A big kiss to everyone. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again. Join yeah. us on the weekend. We're coming on the weekend. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. You take care. Bye.